tight shit. <coughs> tight shit. Tight shit. Tight shit. Tight shit. Tight shit. Streaks will be broken again. Hey, look, man. What can I say? I guess you should just uh you should just live and breathe my stream, I guess. Look, man. I'm liable. I'm about to Hey man, look, I'm about to Hey, look, man, I'm about to Hey, look, man, I'm about to Rocco hitting a 10 stream streak. Now that is something you love to see. This is that real hood trap shit. Um, chat. I'm not even gonna lie. I was gonna start my stream a little bit earlier, but I was looking for one of them like pop filter things that I could put on top of my microphone because I know I have a couple of them, but I literally cannot find them anywhere. So I don't know where the fuck they at. I think I might have to cop some new ones, to be honest. But it is what it is. I, I literally, like, looked everywhere. I have no idea where they're at. Because you're a good girl and you know it. Yo, Seabass, thank you for the 40 months. No, it's it's a it's a just us girls type of stream. Chat, what are you doing awake? I got a little I, this is a mean ass fly away right here. Fly away. Baldur's Gate 3 really the best game to come out. Yeah, that, that shit is pretty peak. Porn hours? If it's porn hours, then why are you here right now, my brother? The voices, that's fair. What do your armpits smell like? Uh dove sandalwood and orange. At work? You meant that shit? Playing Yakuza? Yeah, I kind of want to start Yakuza, but at the same time, there's too much shit happening soon in, like, February, so I can't really start it. FF14? I'm genuinely sorry to hear that shit. Never heard of multitasking? There's no way you're watching porn and you got me pulled up as well. Do you even still play FF14 paper or is that stolen valor? Are you going to play FF7 Rebirth? Oh, hell yeah. I want to do an FF7 uh, remake, replay through. Um, probably going to do that at some point, like very soon, actually. Uh, maybe like last week of december maybe first week of january we start that jalen brunson is him yeah i heard he dropped like what was it 50 or something <laughs> i swear that was a topic in a stream niggas be watching porn and having a stream up dead ass excited for the 16 dlc we already played the first 16 dlc um and then of course the new dlc that's coming out with leviathan that shit is finna be peak man I'm very excited for that. You got an appointment in like an hour? Well, that's fine because this stream is not going to take longer than an hour. I will not be up all night, right, chat? I'm up all night for good fun type shit. Art tab is nothing but twerk compilations. It is what it is. I'm not shocked. It's, it's just people are doing it for the meme. It'll pass, bro. It'll pass. Who y'all maining in Hunter Hunter? I kind of want to like make a video about it tomorrow. I guess I could do that shit now. And then upload that shit. Because I, I, I do need more content. What up, Semi? How you doing? I'm not. Hold on. All right, I'm, I'm going to record this. I'm, I'm, I'm going to record this.
Hold on. Let me get my music up. Turn the music up, turn the lights down, that shit. How's my volume sounding? Chat, how I'm sounding? Yeah, I changed my whole audio setup again. <laughs> I swear to God, it's every stream. Hey, bro. Yo, y'all heard about that uh, that Hunter Hunter game? I'm not going to lie. Okay, so for, to preface, I'm a little bit of a Hunter Hunter hater. I'm not going to lie. I just am. It is, is what it is. But I'm a hater in a sense that I feel like that's an anime that like people like over regard. And I don't think it's like actually that gas. But I still rec I still recognize it as one of the goats. You feel me? Like I'm not like so delusional to where like I I can't understand why it's so beloved and why it's one of the goats. And regardless of however much I might hate on that shit, I'm not gonna lie. Some of the characters are still kind of gas. Well, we kind of got some news here. We kind of got some news. Also, I'm very sorry about. I'm streaming right now at 4:30 in the morning. I was in bed all day. I'm a crackhead. So if you're watching this on YouTube, I apologize. Usually my video quality is a lot better, but y'all be all right. Uh, uh, so yeah, we get in a new Hunter Hunter game and also paper. I don't know why you acting brand new. You knew, you know my body. I've been a hater. Like I literally been a hater. Like it just is what it is. The vid already started. Yeah, I'm trying to get more natural from when I transition from streamer mode into the video mode. So hopefully this this works a little bit here. Um, But yeah, so... Aiding is developing a Hunter Hunter full scale fighting game. Okay. Now, the publisher or the, the developer of this game has worked on things like Marvel versus Capcom 3. <sighs> My God. Marvel versus Capcom 3. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're kind of locked in. I need this to not be an arena fighter. I don't think it's going to be an arena fighter because the shit that they've made in the past. I forgot what other games they made. Yo, chat. Anybody? Oh, DNF Duel, uh, M Marvel 3. And they said they're making a full scale fighting game. Like this is going to this is not going to be like ass. You feel me? Like they really on they bullshit with this. You feel what I'm saying? And like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I think Hunter Hunter like is a franchise that they could like do a lot of cool things with in a fighting game aspect. The first good anime fighting game of all time. Ah, right, man. Look, I, I know we all like to joke about fighters, but fighters is right there. Fighters is right there. But regardless, so a lot of people are always looking to like Arxis, right? For like, oh, when's Arxis going to make another game? When's Arxis, you know, when's Arxis going to make Naruto fighters? Look, I'm going to be honest with you. I think Arxis hates the fact that they made fighters. <laughs> like, I'm just going to be honest. I think they much prefer their darling baby and Guilty Gear. And I don't think they ever want to touch like a main line, like mainstream title like that ever again. Especially because I feel like Arxis pre-Dragon Ball Fighters and Arxis post-Dragon Ball Fighters are like two different studios. You feel me? Like now they got clout. You feel me? Like now they like they vested up. You feel me? Like now they kind of them. You feel me? So like I feel like the clout they got off of Dragon Ball Fighters, they can now focus on things they want to make more of. And I think that's going to be stuff like Guilty Gear, you know? Um, now, with that being said, I'm sure there might come a point where, you know, Arxis is like, damn, you know, our pocket's running kind of low. Hey, who want to throw us the bag so that way we can make another anime game? I'm sure that's going to be a thing at some point. But, you know, from what, from what they did with Fighters... It really seems like, you know, they were obviously passionately working on that game, but at a certain point, it just stopped being a focus for them. I think a lot of people can feel that, which is, you know, a shame because I think Fighters was a really good game. And I think that was a game that was a, a bridge for a lot of people to get into fighting games. Like a lot, a lot of people got into fighting games because of Dragon Ball Fighters, you know, and I know like we feel a, we feel a way about it now. Right. But like, you know, it just is what it is. Like fighters was, was a huge game for the FGC and uh, during its heyday, like, you know, season zero, season one, even season two, like it was really fun for, for a long time as a spectator. I didn't really play fighters all that much. I'm not the hugest tag fighter fan, just 
that's just me personally. So I hope this isn't a tag fighter, but I'm almost positive. Like, this is probably going to be a tag fighter. Um, and with that being said, though, with that being said, though, I kind of wanted to, like, go over, you know, who my who my main three are going to be. Like, who, who I would actually play in a uh, in Hunter Hunter. You know what I'm saying? Who I would play in Hunter Hunter. And I, I want to hear what you guys, who you guys would main in, in, in a Hunter Hunter game. So... First of all, I think I just need to go ahead and say this. I think there are some of my favorite characters that I think are going to be like really popular and overrepresented. Like everybody's going to be playing Kilua, bro. Like let's be so for real. Like Kilua just is the coolest character in Hunter x Hunter. Everybody going to be playing Kilua. Like everybody going to be playing Kilua. Everybody going to be playing Kurapka. Like it just it just is what it is. Like that that like if you if there was ever a fighting game character that you thought got overrepresented, my boy, it ain't gonna be shit compared to this little silver hair boy right here, bro. Like, Kilua is going to be everywhere. You're not gonna be able to go online and not fight a Kilua. So I kind of wanted to have my list be a little bit more quirky. You know what I'm saying? Be a little bit more different. You feel me? And so here are the three characters. I'm assuming this is a three tag fighter. Here are the three characters that I would probably play in hunter hunter right first one the goat the goat you know we, i gotta play uvo i gotta play uvo however the fuck you say his name you feel me and the, here's the main reason why here's the main reason why here's the main reason why i like the big character archetype you know in fighting games i like that shit like you know z broly that's for me potemkin that's for me Unga Bunga, that's for me. And I think, like, he could be really fun. And I also, another archetype that I really like in fighting games is, like, the asshole, like, spit on you archetype. You feel me? Is the asshole spit on you archetype. You feel me? And, like, I feel like Uvo would do that. I don't remember who this is. <sighs> I'm going to tell you who it is, and you're going to know who it is by this. Kurapka brought the shovel to the fight. All right, look, listen. I'm not saying Uvo is the coolest guy out there. Look, did he get his ass beat? Sure. But I think I would still like him on my team. I'm unique, bro. I'm unique, bro. Like, get off my dick. Like, type shit. Oh, what you gonna, you gonna play Kilua? Oh my God, what, another metal one main? Oh my God, I never thought I would say it, bro. Like, I never thought I'd ever see the day where somebody main metal one. You're so unique, bro. Oh my God, are you playing Kudapka? Holy shit, I never thought I'd see the day. Like, bro, at least I'm, at least I'm unique, bro. You feel me? I'm not, I'm not like the rest of y'all. That, that I'm, I'm the, I'm the leader. You know what I'm saying? Y'all the followers. I'm the leader. You feel me? I'm the leader. You feel me? The second character I would like on my team, type beat, beat type, type shit. Pito. Pito. I think Pito is cool as fuck. And I think Pito would play so dope in an anime fighting game i really rock with pito the long way you feel me like shout out my ants out there any ants out there y'all know me i fuck with the ant community shout out any and all ants i like i like ants you feel me i feel like if you're gonna play one of the ants it should be pito you feel me what you gonna do play as um what's that dude named the little blonde hair dude little bitch ass motherfucker you don't tell you shit like who you know what i'm saying like, what's his name? Like, you gonna do play as him? L, L, L Mans. You wanna play as Poof? You wanna play as Poof? We talking Poof? No, bro, we talking Pito, bro. What about Kite? What about Kite? What about Kite? That motherfucker lost his head. And guess who did it? Pito! Spoilers if you ain't watch Hunter Hunter, I guess, but you're gonna forget that shit anyways. I'm not gonna lie. Pito is that gas. Now, look, did Pito also get the, br the, the brakes beaten off of her? Yes. 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 Okay. It did happen. Look, it happens to the best of us. It happens to the worst of us. Okay. It happens to the best of us. It happens to the worst of us. You feel me? Um. However, comma, before that, she was kind of that girl. You feel me? Or that them, I should say. That NB, I should say. You feel me? Like, she was, she was kind of, or sorry, they were kind of them. You feel me? Like, shout out Pito. That's the fucking GOAT. And the third character that I think I will play, Giga Chad. Ready, Chad? Hold. Giga Chad. Hold. Giga Chad. Hold. Phaeton, bro. I mean, come on. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? Like, what is we talking about? I I, I thought about putting Illumi here because I also like Illumi, 
But like, it, I mean, come on. I mean, come on. I mean, dude, you guys are so we. You guys are such weebs. Of course, all you guys like Phaeton over my other two choices, bro. But yeah, I mean, come on. I mean, come on. Like, I mean, come on. That's get edgy, but W. I mean, yeah. Th th this is this is the weeb choice for sure. Like, this is the weeb choice for sure. But like, I'm. You know, look. I never said I wanted a weeb. You know, I, I got weeb tendencies. Actually, I have said many times that I'm not a weeb, but like, it is what it is. You feel me? You know, I feel like another character that's gonna be really popular, Crollo. You know, I feel like Crollo gonna be really popular. You feel me? What if only one of these characters is on the roster? Truthfully speaking, I think if only one of them is on the roster, it'd probably be Pito. I, 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 I could see them not putting Uvo on the roster. I think they'll put Phaeton in because I feel like I feel like Phaeton is like mad weeby. Like I feel like everybody like Phaeton type shit. So I feel like that would happen. Uh, I feel like that that would happen. But uh, I feel like if any of them, like, it would probably be Pito. We picking Leorio for the meme? I thought about putting Leorio in, too, because Leorio is, is that guy. Like, Leorio almost got his entire team packed up at the chance of sniffing some pussy. And honestly, like, who could blame him? Like, you feel me? Like, who could blame him? Zeno Zolt? Hold on, who is this? I'm bad with names. I got I to see who it is. You said, you said you're fighting, you're using him? Nah, bro, I'm good off that. Me, personally, I'm good off that. Me personally, I'm good off that. I lightweight, you know what I lightweight thought? I lightweight thought about putting Netero as my third option, just so that way, like my whole team would be compromised or comprised of people that got their ass utterly handed to them. <laughs> Hisoka going crazy in this? Yeah, Hisoka definitely uh, outing the fact that you're a pedophile. He seems like your speed. I'm gonna be so honest. Like I know who this is, but I I can't remember who this is if that makes sense. <laughs> I'm gonna be so for real. Like I remember who this is, but I also don't remember who this is. What kind of fighting game is it gonna be? We don't know yet. We don't know anything about it. We just know that it's a it's a supposedly a full scale fighting game that is that does exist. That does exist. The smoke user. Oh, I think I gotta look him. What, what what's his name? You said Moro. Morel. Oh yeah. Okay, I do remember this guy. Yeah, I could put people in my pack. I don't. Do y'all think he's gonna be in the game though? I feel like I don't. I don't think he's gonna be a priority, bro. Like, who do you think gonna be in the game? Like, obviously, Gone, Kurapka, uh, uh, Leorio, Hisoka, uh, Krolo, Ilumi, Meruem. You know, uh. He's a big part of the Chimera and Arc. Girl, I guess. I need Knuckle. Let me look up Knuckle. I forgot that. I forgot all about this dude. Mean ass Pompadour, bro. Mean ass Pompadour, bro. They're going to have Bomberman? You think so? You think they're going to have Bomberman in there? I don't know. Biscuit is. Oh, I forgot about Biscuit. Yo, I don't know what it is. I feel like I feel like Biscuit gonna be OP as fuck. Biscuit gonna be OP as fuck. I could tell you Biscuit finna be OP, bro. I just wiped away the Greed Island arc from my memory bank, so I forgot all about uh all about her. But yeah. Yeah, I can see that. I gotta rewatch Hunter Hunter because that anime is super forgettable. I don't think Hunter Hunter is super forgettable. I just think that it's like so. It feels long and drawn out and has so many slow moments that like you unironically be forgetting about shit like accidentally type. So like I remember a lot about Hunter Hunter uh, and I only watched it once. Um, but yeah, like there's a lot of like boring parts you got to see. That's my biggest issue with Hunter Hunter. And I think a lot of it has a lot of boring moments in it. But, you know, it is what it is, bro. Razor. Ooh, do you think Razor would be in chat? I don't know. I liked Razor though. I liked Razor. I don't know if he'd be in base roster. Like maybe, maybe a DLC. I, I can't see him being base roster. I can't see him being base roster. Oh, chat. Here's a good question. Do you think King is is in the game? I'm not gonna lie. I I don't know if this is gonna be a hot take. I don't think so. I think they'll sell him as DLC. I don't think he'll be base roster. I think he'll be DLC. 
I'm gonna say it. They would make a bag by making Ging DLC. They would make a bag by making him DLC. I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> we still haven't seen his ability. Hey, they can make some shit up. End of story character, gotta find him. That'd be gas. Ging is in the game, but you lose the match if you play as Gone type shit. Hunter Hunter DLC is weird. Like the game has to have interesting characters first. Oh, are you a Hunter Hunter hater? I feel like, I don't know. I feel like Hunter Hunter got interesting characters. I'm I'm not gonna lie. I'm not playing as this dude <laughs> at all, bro. At all, bro. Now here's my question though. Do you think they adapt the manga content though? Like, do you think that like we see uh we see manga content? I love Hunter Hunter, but a fighting game odd choice. I don't think so. I think that makes sense. I think Hunter Hunter like makes sense to have as a fighting game. I think it could work. I do think it's an odd choice in terms of Hunter Hunter's like overall relevancy. Like just because like obviously Hunter Hunter doesn't get updated a lot, and like you know we haven't had anything in the anime for a long time. You know the manga gets updated very uh, sparsely, sparsely, whatever the whatever word I'm looking for. So it, it is like kind of an odd choice, but I think it's a manga and anime that has like a lot of legacy points to it. So like, I think people will still tap in because it has that, that legacy point type shit. You feel me? Uh, but you know, I do, I do think it is an interesting choice. A lot of people wanted a one piece fighting game, but I genuinely think that Hunter Hunter makes more sense. I feel like, the reason why Hunter or One Piece, in my opinion, doesn't get like a lot of games or a lot of support for that stuff outside of like Japan is because like One Piece just isn't that big in the West, right? Like when we talk about the big three, like I don't know, a lot of you guys are probably a lot younger than me, but like growing up, I remember what it was like, you know, growing up on Bleach, Naruto, and like One Piece and stuff like that, nobody, and I mean nobody, was Jack in One Piece, at least where I lived, you know? That's not to say One Piece is bad. I'm not making this about One Piece being bad. I'm not saying that at all. But like, in the West, One Piece was definitely the, the least popular of Naruto and Bleach. It feels crazy to say that now. You know what I'm saying? Because One Piece has outlasted them, has outgrown them, and I would say... You know, a lot of people would consider One Piece better than both of them now. But at the time, in the early 2000s, when it was the big three, nobody was watching One Piece. Nobody was jacking One Piece. Like, it just it's, that's just the truth of the matter. And I feel like uh, because it, it lacks that level of ubiquity that, like, Naruto and... and it, it, I would just say... I wouldn't even put Bleach on that level because Bleach also... I feel like doesn't get a lot of like games or other outside support or anything like that because you know like naruto is just on a different level like on the west it's like naruto and dbz really you feel me like bleach had more motion than one piece but like it was like it's like it's like uh the, the way i would describe it is that one piece had ripples in the west like in terms in terms of the level of motion right in terms of the level of motion, One Piece had ripples, Bleach had waves, Naruto had tsunamis. <laughs> like that, that's about like the difference that I would put those three at in back in the day. You know, I think it's because Naruto was on tsunami. Wasn't Bleach also on tsunami? I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure Bleach was too. But no, I the, the thing is. I don't remember when you guys were watching Naruto, but when I was watching Naruto as a kid, it was actually on as a regular cartoon. I, th I believe it used to come out at like 6 p.m. on uh, on Naruto where, or on a Cartoon Network, whereas Bleach was played on Adult Swim, actually. It was played like after midnight type shit, I think. When when, when did Adult Swim... I don't, remember, I don't remember when Adult Swim started. Was that... It was like either 10 p.m. or like midnight, somewhere around there was when Bleach would start. And then One Piece, you could only watch, I believe, on Saturdays on 4Kids. I don't think One Piece was on a major network. I could be wrong. I don't, I don't, I don't remember. I don't know if anybody remembers what, what it was like back then, but I'm pretty sure it was a Saturday morning anime. Like, you couldn't watch that shit. Like, like, because you could watch Naruto and Bleach every single day. You know, like, if you watched, 
uh, as soon as you came home from school, you did your homework, did your chores, and then Naruto would be on. You feel me? And then if you stayed up late, Bleach would be on, you know? But you could only watch One Piece on the weekend. I believe that's how it was when I was watching, like, those shows or whatever. But anyways, I'm not making this about One Piece. <laughs> Back to 100 Hunter. I, I'm sorry. If you're watching this on YouTube, I ramble a lot. Welcome. Check out the streams, I guess. It is what it is. But yeah, so back to Hunter Hunter. Okay, I think Hunter Hunter has this level of like, it's almost like this. Um, I, the way I equate Hunter Hunter is like baby's first anime that isn't baby's first anime. You feel me? Like baby's first anime is like Naruto, Bleach, DBZ, One Piece. You know, like the super normie core, like, you know, Pokemon, Sailor Moon, like the shit everybody watches. But then I feel like there's a level above that. And that's where I would put stuff like Full Metal, Hunter Hunter, you know, like the stuff that like people think they're unique for watching. But in reality, it's like you're just you just took the first step out of the park type shit. And I put Hunter Hunter in that category. And I think that's a really good category to be in because I'm going to be honest, like the people that think that like they're cool for liking Hunter Hunter and shit like that, like them motherfuckers be the most rabid of fans. And it's crazy because Hunter Hunter when did the anime finish airing like 2012 2013 something like that it still got motion 10 years later people still hold this anime in high regard like that's pretty impressive for for something to not get a lot of content and still retain that level of motion this is a property that is a fucking cash cow you know and uh I would say for good reason, you know, despite the fact that I have my reservations about Hunter Hunter, the truth of the matter is, is that, look, the world building is fire. The, 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 the characters are interesting. And a lot of people are just really interested in the overall world and lore of Hunter Hunter. You know, now, if it was me personally, I wish you, you Hakusho got this motion. But unfortunately, Hunter Hunter is the one with the motion, but it is what it is. It, it, it's it's Hunter Hunter, still Togashi, you know, Togashi's still eating, you know, I'll pray that man start feeling better type shit. Um, but yeah, I think this game could be really, really gas. I think this game could be really, really gas. You know, uh, would I have preferred another anime? Yes. My God, yes. I would, I, I would sacrifice many souls in this chat for a Bleach fighting game. My God, Thousand Year Blood War is one of my favorite anime. Now, I'm not even going to lie, though. Thousand Year Blood War is making it to where, like, I was already a Bleach dick rider. I was already a Bleach dick rider. Thousand Year Blood War is, like, taking it to the next level. I genuinely believe Thousand Year Blood War arc, by the time it's done, could end up being the best arc in Bleach. Like, that shit, it, like, that's crazy to me. Thousand Year Blood War is so good, bro. The anime, okay, you know, I'm not talking about... Uh, <laughs> Stay on track, Omega. Hunter, Hunter. They clicked on the video for Hunter, Hunter. Get in line. Get in line. Anyways. <laughs> Wait, chat. Who are you guys maining in Hunter, Hunter? I'm curious. I pray to God this Hunter, Hunter game gets some UU guest characters. Mm, how do y'all feel about guest characters, though? Low key. How y'all feel about guest characters? She going to be my main? Uh, What's her name? Megumi, Kamu, I forgot, I forgot her name. Kurapka, Kilua, Kite, Knuckle, or Netro, Beans, Leo. Who the fuck is Beans? Oh, Komugi is her name. There, there it is. All right, bro. All right, bro. Lock in. I, I don't even remember who this is. I'm just going to be honest. Who the fuck is this? Oh, what's Shorty's name? Uh, What's Shorty's name with the turtleneck and the glasses? Uh, 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 what's her name? Shizuku. I thought about putting her. Do, do you think she gonna be? Do you think she gonna be in the? Do you think she gonna be in the in the in the game though? Yes. Now are you saying that because you hope so? I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna say this. Every bad bitch cosplayer has cosplayed this character. Because it's so simple. You just get a black turtleneck and some jeans and boom, you're her. You feel me? Every bad bitch has cosplayed this character. Tell you shit. She's like the Android 21 of Hunter Hunter. 
Yeah, I thought about putting her in my um in my in my list too. I would definitely love to try her out. What's the rest of the female cast though? Her and Bisky? Uh they could do the um the guard during the uh Kilua retrieval arc. What's her name? They could put her in there. I don't know if they would if Can Canary. I'm sorry, I'm I'm really bad with names. Yeah, they could put her in there. Cause they showed off her powers in the show. So we could see her. Um who who else? Let me look up let me look up Hunter Hunter characters. Hello. Alright, what's this? What is this tier list, bro? They got Hisoka and <laughs> Tier. What is what is going on? Well, you tripping. Oh, what's that shorty's name? Nah, what's that bad bitch name? Um She's I think she's in the beginning of the show. I think. What what's that bad bitch name? Oh my god. Does anybody remember? Uh, Hunter Hunter female characters. Wait a minute. Wait, am I going? Am I? What am I? No, what? 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 Who am I thinking of, man? The, is it the chef? Wait a minute. Was it her that I'm thinking of? I think it was her. I think, it, yo, what up, Tindo? This is for the real girlies. Yes, this was her. Nah, I don't think she's going to be in the game, though. Yeah, this was her. Hey, mama. Hey, mama. She has to? Bro, how big y'all think this roster finna be, though? How many uh, characters did Dragon Ball Fighters launch with? How many characters y'all think gonna be in this damn game, bro? That's the thing with anime games, right? Like the fan base is so passionate that it kind of feels like they have to have so many characters. A 30 character roster? That is a lot. Hold on, Dragon Ball Fight, oop, Fighters launch roster. How many, was this the launch? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, twenty-one. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Yeah, I, could, I think I could see like 20 characters being in this game. I think I think like 20 characters make sense, especially if, it, especially if it's a tag fighter. Like, I feel like obviously, you know, the main the main cast is going to be there. You're going to have. Hold on. Let, 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 let's make a note. Let's make a note of who we think is going to be. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, my bad. Of who we think is gonna be in here. Okay, so obviously one gone, two, Kiliwa. Whoops. Three, Kurapka. You know, four, obviously Hisoka gonna be in there. Uh hold on, let me make this bigger bias type shit. <coughs> uh how do I make this bigger biased? I guess I can just do this. Tight shit, tight shit. Okay, five. Uh whoops. Uh, Leodio probably. Uh, six is gonna be. Uh, y'all think Netero? Oh, Crollo is a hundred percent gonna be a character. Uh, seven Illumi. Uh, eight is gonna be. We're we're already filling up the the roster a lot. Metal, Metalum is definitely gonna be in there. Um, y'all, I'm trying to think if I if they would put in. That actual Chimera ants in there. Oh, I think Biscuit is obviously going to be in there. Uh, so if we if they put them in there, it's going to be Pito. You're going to have uh, Poof, uh, Kites. You think? Yeah, cut. Uh, Yuppie. Hold on, let me look up Yuppie again. Who is this? This is the other ant, right? Yeah, he'll probably be in there. I think if they put one of the ants in there, they're all going to be in there. Uh, I think if they put, I think if they put Metal Woman, they also put in Netero. We're already running out of, we're already running out of, uh, of characters here. <clears throat> Y'all saying Knuckle? Oh, I, <laughs> I guess, 
that makes sense that that would show up. You you think really? I don't really remember this motherfucker like that. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe shoot McMahon. Who the shoot McMahon? Oh, Phaeton. Yeah, I think I think Phaeton's in there. Wait, this is uh, this is that one guy. Phaeton is definitely in there. Yeah, this is that one guy. Who's Kilo was Gramps? Uh, Zeno? What are the top fan favorites in this show? Like Kilua, Hisoka, Kudapka, uh, Krolo, Meduum are probably like Kite, maybe as well, Phaeton. You think we you think we want to put Shizuku in there too? I'm gonna put Shizuku in there. They gotta put Shizuku in there, bro. They gotta put Shizuku in there, bro. It has to be. Shizuku's definitely gonna be there, bro. Yuvo? I'm gonna put Yuvo in there just because I hope he's in there. We get him most of the Phantom Troop. Yeah, I feel like feel like most of the Phantom Troop makes sense. Did I not put yeah, I put a Lumi in there already. Maki? Is Maki the uh, green hair, the chef chick? Oh, this girl. Oh, I forgot all about... Yo, this... Man, the art is... Oh, this is on DeviantArt. Man, that person snapped. Yeah, I, th I think Biscuit will be in there. Yo, I'm not even gonna lie. This is kind of a crazy-ass cast, chat. 20 characters? I feel like there's not even that many other characters you would probably want. And I do think Gein will I will either be like a hidden character or a pre-order character or a DLC character. You think Hanzo? Let me see. Hanzo, Hunter, Hunter. Um, Low-key? I could see it. I could see it. I don't think this would be a character that a lot of people would be like hype for, but I could see him being in there. Kilo is dad Silva or Paris. Who's all right. Hold on. Who is that? Oh, now, nah, you know what? Low key. I'm going to, I'm going to put this as the last one. I think Canary, I think Canary will be, will be in the game. I think Canary will be in the game. I feel like this is like a, a, a 20 that I think makes sense. I think I think like if there's 20 characters in the game, I feel like it's gonna be these 20. But I think he will also be in though. I feel like I don't think there's anybody I would want to take. I think all these characters would be in. Maybe maybe not Canary. Maybe Parison instead of Canary. But I just think Canary will be in there. No palm. All right, hold on. Who's this? Mm, hello, how are you doing, Palm? I forgot about Palm, actually. But now nah, you see, th okay, this could be. Can you make me an honorary girl? I can't sleep either. I, right, bro, you have now been been girled, I guess. Oh man, yeah, that's a. I, I was trying to keep it to twenty. Yeah, low low key, they could do a twenty five. Ross, nah, I feel like low key. I think they might put even less characters than 20. I feel like they might put 18 in the game, like 18, 17 to 18 characters, low key. And then have some of the characters that people really want as DLC. Like they might do a thing where like they have some of the Chimera Ants as a as a DLC thing. So like Meduum and like Pito, Yupi and poof like as a DLC pack or something like that. I can see that shit happening low key. I feel like the, the characters will be released in like a per arc basis type shit. You know what I'm saying? I think I can see that. I think Phaeton might be DLC too. Phaeton does strike me as a DLC ass character, but regardless, I think these will probably, not in any particular order, but I think these will probably be the first 20 characters in the game. Whether it launches with 20 or more, or like 18 or 17, I feel like these will probably be the first 20. Who's making the game again? The people that made uh, Ultimate, or the, the people that made Marvel's Capcom 3, 
they made uh they made Bloody Roar as well. And I used to love Bloody Roar, bro. I used to love Bloody Roar. They made DNF. Um, ooh, a Phantom Troop DLC. The thing is, though, I feel like there's no way Hisoka's not in the main cast. And there's no way Illumi... Uh, they, I, maybe. Maybe Hisoka's the only Phantom Troop member they put in there. And then the other ones they save for DLC or something. I can see it. I can see it. I can see that. Nah, but I, I feel like this this game has a lot of potential to do some gas shit. I'm not gonna lie. This game has a lot of potential to be some gas, I fear. What are you thinking about having a second gone for his adult form? DLC, probably. Or I think they might do that to where it's like a, a move or maybe like an install in the game, maybe. It might be one of those things that's like really hard to pull off in game, but once you pull it off, like going gets like mad strong or some shit. Hello. Shall Nark Nobunga. Why'd I say it like that? Shall Nark no uh Nobunaga, uh Phaeton and Shizuki could be a tough DLC bundle. I hunter, I gotta look everybody up. Shall Nark Hunter Hunter. Yeah, they can keep that. <coughs> Yeah, I'm really bad with names. <laughs> I'm starting. I'm starting to realize this. Nobunaga. I mean, samurai archetype go crazy. Tell you shit. Uh, Phaeton, we already and Shizuki, we already know. Okay, yeah, I can see that. They could do that. I can see that. They could do that. We need. Okay, now you're making shit up. Who even is that? Oh my mama! I don't know who the fuck this is. Oh my mama, who the fuck is this? <laughs> I do not remember this at all, bro. What the hell? Zushi? I swear to God, they put him in the game. Boy, anytime I go up against a Zushi main, I'm playing extra hard, bro. Look up Razor. We've already talked about, uh, we already talked about them. I feel like they will not put Razor in the in the base roster. Uh low key, yeah. I feel like I feel like he could I feel like he's strong shoe in. I feel like Morel's a strong shoe in for the base roster. Zushi Hisoka Gone team. Is that gonna be your team paper? That's what you want? If they do Zushi, we need we need wing. So you want Zushi? And wing. Nah, I'm good. Look up Kanzai. Kagi voices him. My goats? When the fuck did he show up? Um, Do not remember. <laughs> do not remember. What up, Big Tone? Near the end? Oh, like the presidential arc type shit. Wait, throw bunny. Throw bunny girl in there. Yeah, I do not remember this guy at all. I'm just, I'm just gonna be honest. I'm just gonna be honest. Okay, but yeah, okay, I think I've rambled enough. This is a 45 minute or a 40 minute video talking about a game that we haven't even seen a screenshot for. <laughs> Yo, I am a I am a professional yapper. But if you enjoyed this video and you want to come see me yap more, come do it in my live stream. Link is in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're excited for Hunter Hunter, let me know in the comment section. What's your team going to look like? Put a top three in there. Who do you want in the game? What you think finna happen in the game? Let me know all that shit and more in the comments. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, all that bullshit. And I'm going to catch you guys in my next video. I'll tell you shit. All right, now it's just us girls. For real. For real this time, it's just us girls. <clears throat> Damn, I'm a professional yapper. N ain't no way that was 40 minutes. Time flies by when you're yapping. I need a God of High School Seafood game. Now you can keep that shit. <laughs> you can keep that shit. Right, let me start uploading that to my drive. That'll probably be tomorrow's video. <clears throat> I 
I need Sifu too. Man, I bought Sifu and I still ain't played that shit. <laughs> Time for Marvel Snap. No. Sadly, Togashi ain't never finishing that manga. Low key, I'm just hoping for his health to get better over the anime getting finished, man, to be honest. Like, in best case scenario, like, he has, like, the rest of the plot written out or something, and he can give it to somebody else to do, which I think is what he's doing. I believe his wife is, like, picking up some of the work for the manga or some shit. So, like... I think we'll see the ending in an in a, in a, in a, I, I, I would just rather do that. Like you have the end or whatever, and you just let somebody else like, like complete it. Like, I understand that like, he's probably very attached to it and he wants to be the one to do it. But like, I would rather him not get like, I would rather him like not fuck up his health over it. You know, like, like I get like you, you know, you're attached to your art and all that stuff, but like, it cannot be worth fucking up your health for that, you know? <clears throat> no way, man. I know, that's what I'm saying, bro. What, what's bloody happening about? Damn, he's so cool. I almost clicked this by instinct, but I already know it's gonna be an OnlyFans promo. <laughs> Allegedly, Black Clover is getting a reboot. I don't think a reboot is saving that shit. Actually, if they reboot that and give it good animation, I think it'll trick people in the same way that Demon Slayer tricked people. I think that if if I think that if Black Clover was animated as well as Demon Slayer, it had the same reputation as Demon Slayer. I actually unironically think uh, Black Clover is better than Demon Slayer. What up, Brandito? How you doing, gang? Like Demon Slayer just like looks really nice. That's, that's not to that's not to say like it doesn't have its own merits or like it doesn't have things about it that make it good as well. It does, but like if that shit had Black Clover like animation type shit, like nobody would be talking about it. Personally, I can't agree. Have you ever fucking like tried to read the manga of Demon Slayer? That shit is so bad when you don't have the music and the animation tricking you. How you feeling? Oh man. Do I sense another video? All right, chat, I'm recording. Yo, we got to talk about this this Jujutsu Kaisen game, man. <laughs> we got to talk about this Jujutsu Kaisen game. Look, I'm a big Jujutsu Kaisen fan. So when I heard that they were making a game initially, I was... Okay, first of all, I was obviously skeptical because there's no such thing as... Like, most anime games suck, especially if it's going to be an arena fighter. There are some that are good, you know? Like, that Kill la Kill game was actually mad gas, I don't know if anybody ever played that one, but that one was like really gas. Obviously, you have like the Tenkaichi series. I would even put Xenoverse in the good category. Storm is good as well. Um, but for everyone like that, there's My Hero Ultra Rumble. And lo and behold, they gave the My Hero Ultra Rumble devs the keys to another franchise. And this time, the franchise they gave them the keys to is one of my goats. And I've never been more upset in my entire life. But... <laughs> Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and watch it. I know this is two months old, but like, I just wanted to talk about this game. I guess I I guess I never like talked about it in an official capacity, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and break this down, man. Does anybody have any more like recent footage? Because I'm pretty sure they've shown off more recent footage recently. Uh, if I say recent one more time, you're allowed to ban me on Twitch and on YouTube tape. But like, my God, how do you take like the coolest cast of characters in a modern anime? Let's do this now. And make the Let's and make the game win. whack. Like zero aura in this game whatsoever. Like this is zero aura. I expected more. 
And the thing is, too, this is them editing the trailer to try to look as cool as possible, bro. Like, they got the music playing. They got the, the jump cuts. They got, you know, they, they edit in this shit like crazy. Oh, look how cool, how gassed this is. Bro, be so for real. Bro, you know what's crazy? You know it's crazy when Fortnite did a better job of giving Gojo aura than a damn Jujutsu Kaisen game. Man, you hate to see it. Man, my brother down bad, bro. Oh my God, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. Is a 20 minute gameplay out? Yo, can you find that link? This playlist got some vids. Damn, what the hell? Bro, what are these, like 10 second clips? Yo, let's let's got this Panda gameplay. Uh, bro, what is this? <laughs> yo, yo, what is this, chat? It's so slow. Why did that take so long? Why did that take so long? No aura. Where's the impact? Oh my god, this looks so garbage. Bro. Come on. I feel like Jujutsu Kaisen is so easy to make into a good game. Party animals, bro. This would have been better if it was a party animals game instead of a fighter. Oh my days, what is this? Okay, we yeah, okay, this is from five months ago. Oh my god, bro. By the way, when season three gets animated, prepare to see a lot of Maki dick riding on your timeline. Man, this game is in trouble, chat. I'm not gonna lie. Jujutsu Kaisen Curse Clash is in trouble. Here's what never makes any sense to me about these games, man. Like, these are million dollar franchises. Like, these franchises are worth so much. Why do they give the keys to the most undeserving developers of all time? Like, they'll give a Jujutsu Kaisen game to a developer that's only ever developed a microwave operating system before. Like, why do they have this? Like, what is going on? Like, you feel me, chat? Like, why do they do that type of shit? Like, I, I get, like, licensed games in general are usually very bad. Like, it's always been that way from the beginning of time. On the NES, SNES, N64, PS1, PS2. They Like, licensed games are usually bad. But, like... My God, it's like anime games in particular always get the worst end of the stick. And like the the the, re the thing is that licensed games like do this thing where it's like, okay, we know that there's a lot of people that are very big fans of this property, so they will support it just because it's this property. Like the aspect of running around and fighting as Toto, like I'm not gonna lie, if I if I was like 16, 17, I'd buy this game. I'd buy this game. You telling me? You telling me I get to play as Toto? Did y'all just see the most recent episode of JJK? Yeah, I want to play as that motherfucker. I would love to. I would love to play as him. Of course. Like, of course. I would love to do that. And you have Toto, who has possibly one of the coolest powers to really make really cool in a video game. And it just has no aura here. Like, what is going on? Like, the whole clapping and, and teleporting thing could be so much cooler. Like, why not make it a part of his combos or something? Like, it's... Like, what is this? He's just like... It looks like he's standing like he would on the ground, but in midair. Like, this looks just so ass. Like, there's no motion, no passion here. 
and I'm not even necessarily blaming the devs here because like you're in over your head type shit. You feel me? Like how are you supposed to how are you supposed to like do this justice? Like I I guarantee a lot of the times they're not giving them a big budget to make these games. And not only are they not giving them a big budget to make these games, they're probably forcing them to make them really quickly. They're probably like what do you think the development time has been on this, bro? Six months? Like, what is going on? Like, nobody's going to be able to make a, uh, uh, a good game in six months like this. And the fucked up part, too, is... The game is going to make money because it's JJK. That's the messed up part. Like, it's not enough that the game, like, looks bad in, in and of itself, but you know this game is going to have horrible online. You know this game is probably not going to have a replay function. You know this game probably not going to have lobbies, and you're probably not going to be able to, like, spectate or do any dope shit, like, or do, or have any fun at all. Bro, Storm Connections just dropped, and you can't play your friends. What, what is going on? What is happening, bro? They launched, they launched... Uh, 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 the Demon Slayer game, and it was in 30 frames per second. Like, why? The Demon Slayer game was actually gas, but the online was completely horrible. And it was in 30 F You had a fighting game in 30 FPS. That don't even make sense. How's that even legal? How's that even legal? But I think in the case of, like, Demon Slayer, I think that game was actually good, but they just didn't have the time to let it cook. They just didn't have the time to let it cook, man. And I feel like that's always the case with these anime games. God, man, this could have been so dope. This could have been so dope. Are they actually charging $70 for this? Is that kill confirmed? Yo, wait, when is this game supposed to come out, actually? Are they actually charging $70 for this? This game should be, like, 30 bucks. This is coming in February. It's launching the same day as... Pers no, wait, January or no? Okay, it's because the thing is flipped, type shit. So it's, it's it's February first, coming out the same month as Persona Three Reload and FF Seven Rebirth. <sighs> Damn. Damn. Yuta joins Jujutsu. Yo, nah, nah. Look how they massacred my boy. Where is the aura? Where is the aura? What the? What the? F he looks like he just came out of the ICU, bro. Where is the aura? Nah, they did not do Yuta like that, bro. Have they shown Toji yet? Yo, this looks ass. Oh my god, this looks terrible. This game looks like a PS3 game, unironically. This is not doing what it needs to. Oh no, uncut gameplay. Bro, this looks disgusting. This looks nasty as hell. Look how slow and floaty it is. Oh my god, it's disgusting. Xenoverse copy? Bro, if this was a Xenoverse copy, it might be a good game. Don't do Xenoverse like that, bro. Xenoverse is actually solid. Yo, this is crazy. This don't even look fun to make fun of. Like, you know how you, you sometimes play a bad game because it's funny to play it? This don't even look like one of those games. It just looks bad. What is the D-pad for? It looks like for some social features, like to emote or something. Yeah, I never thought I would look at a game that looked worse than the My Hero One's Justice games. But this looks worse. Oh my god, it's so slow. I think there's Gojo play gameplay later on. Oh my god, really? I really can't wait to see how he moves and operates in this engine. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Bro. This is dead ass a mobile game. Bro, Bleach Brave Souls looks better than this. Don't do mobile games like that. I'd rather play Dokkan. 
I'd rather play Dragon Ball Legends. On oh, no, ironically, I'd rather play Dragon Ball Legends than this bullshit. Kind of reminds me of Dissidia, but worse. My brother in Christ, do not do Dissidia in this manner. If you ever speak poorly on Dissidia's name, I swear to God, I will smite you where you stand, boy. Don't Bleach got another mobile game coming out? Yeah, I'll, I'll try that shit out. <laughs> oh my God, actually, why don't more anime games just steal the Dissidia formulae? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna play some Dissidia in case y'all never seen it. But like, I feel like this could like work really well for like modern anime games. I feel like the formula only for Dissidia was like kind of gas. Like it worked and it's really hard to explain how Dissidia worked if you never played it. Like there's like kind of two different attacks. It kind of like had a lot more, uh, a lot more strategy to it. Like this felt like way more free flowing and by the way, this was on the PSP. They made this game on the goddamn PSP. So you could imagine if they put it on an actual console, like it could be a lot better too. Like the city was that, was low key that gas. You feel me? Like imagine this, but you running around as Gojo and shit, this shit could be kind of gas. Like obviously I don't think the rails thing that is in this game would like really fit in an anime game. I, I feel like you'd want it to be more seamless than like, Grinding on the little rails joint. Man, where is the gameplay at, brother? Get to the damn get like look how flashy this shit looks. The hits have impact. You could actually combo in this game too. Every character had like really unique gameplay elements to it. Also, lightweight, low key. I wish they would bring back like the in-game mini games, right? Not necessarily like the the uh like the what what's the one in Budokai three the Dragon Rush shit like that shit was ass like not not stuff like that but like you remember in the old Naruto games when you were doing an ultimate you had to like press the buttons faster than your opponent and if the opponent pressed it faster they would stop your jutsu but if you pressed it faster your jutsu would continue on and your jutsu had like three phases or something like that like bring shit like that back like that shit was way more engaging than like than than whatever the fuck this yeah. is. And it allowed the games to be super cinematic in a way that still felt fair to to play in gameplay segments, right? Like this does not let you like feel like you're, you know, use controlling Yuji or Gojo. Like you don't feel that sense of power in this game. Like it just looks wrong. You feel me? Whereas Storm, like it went so over the top. You're doing like, you know, you're playing as Zabuza doing water dragon jutsu, and every button you press is like Zabuza's doing a different like jutsu, to, like or doing a different hand sign. That shit used to be so gas. Like bring shit like that back. What is going on? The other two characters fighting? Yeah, so it's two v two. So I guess it's like a big arena, and you know, you can pretty much like fight, you know, in whatever way you want. You know? And you notice how she keeps accidentally locking onto the person that's like three years away from her instead of Gojo who's right in front of her. Like that shit just does not look gas. There's something weird about how these stages look. There's no soul or sauce and the sense of scale feels off. Nah, yeah, I agree with that. And now Yuji is knocked. Okay, he just got back up. Like, look at this, man. Oh, my Lord. There's no way people are excited for this, right? Like, Chad, am I tripping? Yo, Sacred, thank you for the 10 months, my brother. Welcome back. Do y'all know anybody who's actually excited for this, man? Hold on, let's see what this looks like. Man, you couldn't have just added some interactivity there. At least press some button or some, I don't know, something. Like, bro, that's Black Flash. Do you know how raw Black Flash is in the anime? Auralis, man. Auralis. Man, just the overall, like, honestly... The, the the little alt thing or whatever this is here. Honestly, 
I don't think it looks good, but it doesn't look that. Okay, not nah, okay. That look. I think the the black flash like I think it lacks impact. This part I think looks bad. The, like the the charge up part I think looks decent. Like I think this looks good, and then that part looks dog shit. Like, I wouldn't be too mad at this if the regular gameplay didn't also look trash. Like what is this? And I wonder, like, when you're doing that little cutscene thing, I wonder if everybody in the game sees that or if you guys continue fighting or, like, if you can stop that from happening. I wonder, like, what that looks like, actually. <clears throat> We're getting more information on the Hunter Hunter game on January 6th. Oh, really? Oh, and if you're watching this video, I made a video about the new Hunter Hunter fighting game. You should probably go check that out. Oh, Yuck? <laughs> January 6th, you say? Oh, shit. Yo, chat, we stormed at the Bandai headquarters on January 6th. Hold on, somebody said there's Gojo gameplay. Let me see. They, they not gonna sell Gojo, bro. Bro, what was that, bro? I never seen a motherfucker scale a building in one jump and look so orderless while doing it. No, wow, okay. What? Yo, chat. I got a weird, a weird high. I've been recording this video for 20 minutes. Oh my God. Yo, chat, I got a weird hypotenuse. Or not a hypotenuse, a weird, uh, whatchamacallit. What if we live in a world where this game is actually fun? What if this game looks really bad, but somehow, some way feels really. Nah. Let me not live in a fantasy land. There's no way that's possible. There's no way that's possible. Like, you can tell that the that the player is, like, struggling to, like, control her own character. Ultra Rumble type beat. I don't understand what happened with Ultra Rumble because I played the beta for that game. And unless the full release is an entirely different game, I cannot imagine how people are having fun with that game. But apparently, motherfuckers really love that game. They think it's gas. Like, me personally, I don't know, bro. I played the little beta joint, and that shit was was doo-doo. <laughs> Low-key, though, Ultra Rumble looks like it controls better than this game. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Shout out Megumi just running into the wall there. It's Dookie Heimer? Yeah, not that gas, bro. Wait, what's happening? <laughs> For a split second, I thought they were going to do something really fucking cool. For a split second, I thought they would have actually put in any fucking effort into this game. When this happened here, hold on. When this happened here, I thought they were about to do a team ultimate. I thought like she was gonna like hit her, hit the uh, enemy into a Gojo attack or into something and actually have something cool. I was about to get ready to say, wait a minute, maybe this game might be a little bit better than I thought, but no. They just added this in here for no reason. Probably Gojo ends up buffing her attack or something like that and makes it do more damage. But like, I thought they were actually going to go through and put in the effort to animate Gojo and Nobara attacking together or doing some sort of team ultimate and they couldn't even fucking do that They couldn't even do that That's pitiful man That is pitiful Also, I'm just I'm just laughing cuz like it's always funny when you're playing an anime game because like, you know the scaling in the anime, right? like Imagine if Gojo was actually using red on these motherfuckers. Like, they would literally be fucking decimated. <laughs> I, I just think that's funny. Like, each of, each of the... Like, Megumi has eaten, like, 10 reds to the face, bro. <laughs> like... The, no, Bara has legitimately been hit by, like, 17 reds. Hollow purple? Missed entirely. Gojo would never... But I always find that funny in anime games. Actually, how do y'all feel about when anime games do that thing where, like, they have the characters, like, almost scaled a little bit? Like, you know how in Senkaichi, like, if you play as a Cyberman, you only have two health bars and you deal, like, no damage. 
and you charge key really slowly. Whereas if you play as like a Saiyan or something like that, you have like five health bars, you know, you start off with more key and you deal more damage. Like, would you guys rather have a game have that? Like, for example, with Sparking Zero, would you rather have that sort of scaling or would you rather it be more fair so that way if you wanted to use something like a Cyberman, you're not handicapped by, you, you know, you didn't lose at the character select screen, you know? It should be a mode? Interesting. Hmm. I like. I kind of like it. I kind of like it, but I also like can see the aspect of like, oh, you know, I don't want to just lose at the character select screen because a lot of times what will happen is, right, like I love trunks, right? But if you have a game that has, that goes all the way up to like GT, for example, or like Super, like with Sparking Zero, like if I choose to play as like Future Trunks from the Z Saga and I go up against Jiren, like I lost at the character select screen. You know, like Jiren's going to have way more HP than me. He's going to hit way harder than me. I'm going to have to work extra hard to even the playing field to like even try to be a Jiren player. Like I, I, I lost because my favorite character is ass or like was just from an earlier point in the series. And that sucks. But at the same time, I feel like it's like kind of cool. I, I really don't know how I feel about it. I think it's a really like hard thing to like sort of justify. Right. Because I obviously if you're an anime fan and you see you know, Gojo doing like 12 hollow purples on Nobara. You're like, how the fuck is she alive? But at the same time, like it's a game. You know, it's just a game. A mode could death fix it. Yeah, like a realistic scale mode or like, or like do something like what Pokemon does. Like uh, if you play Pokemon online and let's say you have like a level 100 Pokemon or level 80 Pokemon, when you go to play online, it scales everybody's Pokemon down to level 50. So like maybe something like that would would be better well there it is they should make it balanced but not balanced that makes no sense <clears throat> yeah man is Sakura in the game or is that Yuji? That's just Yuji. Sakura too? Well, this this one is just Yuji. I don't know if Sakuna is in the game or not. On one hand, the scaling is kind of whack from a balance perspective, but on the other hand, it's funny as fuck watching your little cousin playing as Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and you're playing as Cell Jr. Nah, that shit used to be gas when like one of your homies was like clearly not grinding Tenkaichi like you was grinding. So then, like, he chooses Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Obviously, he chose the black Gogeta. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. We always played the black Gogeta with the white hair. You know, real one stand up. And then you choose, like, Cyberman or, like, Cell Jr. Or some shit like that. And you just whoop his ass. You fucking start hitting him with crazy-ass combos. You start cheesing him. And I'm not going to lie, too. One of the things I liked about Tenkaichi is that sometimes some of those lower-end characters had some really broken shit. Like, they would have, like, a thing that took, like, one little meter and would paralyze you for, like, a day. Like, those little abilities were so fucking broken back in the day. I think Cyberman had one of them, too. Like, he would do a thing where, like, he would just, like, literally paralyze you and stun you and get a free combo on your ass. And they do be quick as a bitch, too, boy. Dodge uh, rope. Let me tell you about Yajirobe and Tenkaichi. Nah, Yajirobe was low-key broken. Like, Yajirobe was low-key nasty as hell, boy. Nah, y'all don't want to mess with a good Yajirobe, bruh. That, that motherfucker was nasty. But you know what I'm saying? I think that's why a lot of people like Tenkaichi, though, because there's a lot of, like, interesting ways to interact with that game. Like, that game really felt like a, a, like a Dragon Ball sandbox. You know, you could live out, like, your wildest dreams playing that shit. I think that's what a lot of people want from modern anime games. Okay, so it looks like he has, a, like, a little stun joint. You know this game is ass because Gojo just used his domain and Omega's talking about a PS2 game. I think that's the perfect way to sum up Jujutsu Kaisen Curse Clash, <laughs> to be honest, man. 
Hey, but them PS2 games fire though. Them PS2 games fire though. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. Gojo looks broken. Like this this girl when she was playing as Yuji in the beginning was getting fucking washed. She played as Gojo and now she's catching bodies, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> Like, she actually switched to Gojo and won. Nah, I'd win type shit. Yeah, man, I'm not gonna lie. Jujutsu Kaisen Curse Clash. Look, I'll probably try it out when it drops because I'm a weeb. But, like, this just does not look good, man. I'm not gonna lie. What do y'all think about Jujutsu Kaisen Curse Clash, man? Let me know. If y'all enjoy this, check me out on Twitch. Check me out on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? That's where I'll be. I stream this live on Twitch. I stream a lot of shit, a lot more shit live on Twitch. Pull up, come through. It is what it is. Jujutsu Kaisen Curse Clash, not looking good, boys. <clears throat> I just got here. Shit looked like ass. Yeah. One of the comments mentioned Dissidia. Wait, really? Wow. Yeah, they did. You peep this, King Sir? That's fucked up. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. But that is true, though. That is true. Look. That is true. Anything goes down and Megumi is trying to kill himself immediately. Zero friends alive. No curse technique. All pain. Discount Maki. His mother stole his only kill. Probably a masochist. Always fails. Should it? Damn. Nah, I'm not. I'm not. No. Nah, we're not doing this. Next. Oh, this is like spoilers. No Tosh, not for real. Like th they was keeping it on JJK, and then Toshiro got it out of nowhere. What the fuck? Damn. I feel like Rock Lee is the definition of potential, man. It's that that's rough. He is the goat, though. He is the goat, though. Raditz has potential, man. He's Goku's brother. He has to show up again. His potential. He was stronger than Goku at the start of Z. Power creep, creep did him dirty. I mean, uh, I don't know. Honkai Star Rail? What the fuck? We're not doing Honkai, bro. They call him 07. He really did have a lot, a lot of potential. Subconsciously uses new skill then never again. <laughs> I love Bleach, but that's kind of true. Six Quincy's battles, one assist, zero kills, 48 gets who got thrown. <laughs> Alright, that's valid. I can't, I can't really hate on that. Chat, that's spoilers. Y'all think Sukuna is Mr. Plot Armor, man? Yes. Yeah. I saw what they just recently did in the new chapter. I haven't read. Is it out yet? I'm waiting for it to get released before I read the whole thing. But I, I, I saw what happened. That's some bullshit. <laughs> That's some bullshit. I'm not going to lie. When does it officially drop? I've been waiting for the official release. Sunday? I bet. Mm. 
Mm. Are you liking the recent chapters or not? Fuck no. That whole comedy bit they did was fucking dog shit. But it looks like it's about to pick up now, so I'm back. I'm locked back in. Put this hair on. Put this on. Okay, no, take it off. Take it off. Yeah, take it off. Put your <clears> hair <throat> down. Yeah, yeah, let them locks fly. Yeah, yeah. Taste yeah. it. Oh, you look good. Taste yeah. it. Yeah. They wouldn't get it, yeah. Okay. Taste it. Okay, put this shirt on. Wait, nah. Nah, take it off. I want to see your skin. I want to see everything about you. <laughs> your sexy ass. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me Stand upload up, that to right. my Dropbox as well. Yeah. I'm trying to see that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yo, Man, I recorded two videos at 4 a.m. Not yeah, bad. Let me hear that turbulence. I'm not going to lie. It's not Kyle Lowry, but it'll do. <laughs> it'll do. Yeah, that's straight. All right. <laughs> what up, CJ? Lie. Is JJK worth picking back up after the recent chapters? Uh, it looks like JJK is about to get good again, so <clears throat> we'll see. I still don't know because, like, the recent chapters I read was, like, this this whole comedy bit they went down that I really did not like. But it, that comedy bit is over, so we'll see where it goes. Come here. Yeah, no, you're perfect. <laughs> What's up, baby? I just want to hoop. Yeah, no, I'm just, I'm just playing 2K. Yo, I've been craving a 2K session. Yeah. I was watching some fake Omega Pro videos, <clears throat> and I was just like rewatching some of our old 2K sessions, and I'm like, damn, bro, I need another 2K session. Like, we haven't played 2K in fucking like in like a month. The Tekken 8 demo was fun. Is that shit officially out? Like, I can play that? Or did you have to get a beta code or something? Yes? Oh, shit. How long is the demo out for? PS5? Okay, I think my Snackbox Micro works on PS5. Man, I got a lot of videos I gotta make, man. Until the game drops. Wait, what?! Oh, I oh I gotta lock in. I gotta try that shit out. I haven't played for so long. You gotta learn how to shoot again. Nah, for real though. Like, cause I have to make a video on God of War. I told somebody in my comments that I would make a video on God of War. Uh, we might have to. We might do that later today. But I think me, Jojo, and Balvin are gonna be streaming something later today as well. So uh, I might do God of War after that. And I need to upload the FF16 finale as well. Speaking of fake Omega Pro, you've seen this. Time for another world oh, this be oh, I did see this. This was actually gas. I'm down to watch this again, though. And now it's time for another world oh, I just farted. I feel it. This is going to be a banger. I feel it. This is going to be a banger. I feel it. Chat, I would not lie to y'all niggas. <laughs> I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> You went to school for four years. Now you're a hundred thousand dollars in debt, and you can't get no job, nigga. <laughs> I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Oh, are you trying to manipulate people into giving you money? The answer is yes. Give me some money. If you guys no better than me. He think he me for real. <laughs> this nigga really think he me for real. I told you guys I was a late game call. Hey, Omega. Get off my dick. Goodbye. I, hope you I never cared game. about you, bro. Oh, what? <laughs> You're a liar. You're just saying that. Look at you, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of a jumper for the UK brothers? Is it a hoodie or a sweatshirt? A, a jumper. Like, are you stupid? <laughs> what do you mean? Chat, should I make a most fuckable um, Mario, Mario character <laughs> tier list? Is Where's Birdo on the tier list, though? S tier. If I speak, we gonna get demonetized. Go to view and make sure there's a check mark next to always show bookmarks. Ah! Who is even calling me? Hello, Kitson. Oh, it's my this kid. The realest statement I ever give you, niggas, bro. Ain't nobody know their way around a dick more than a man. Types. That's just real shit. Types. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm addicted to Slim Jims. I used to eat Slim Jims. 
<laughs> oh, he just got combed on. Ew. Hey, Lena walks into my room. So All right, is this video almost over? Tiny URL, what's this? Oh, I'm so horny. BASED! Chat, what am I oh, doing nigga. wrong? Is it potentially nose diving into 300 different cars? Yup, that's what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> Like you don't want your girl to have her own hobbies. You don't want your girl to have her own her own interests. If your girl starts joining a group called Avalanche, start trying to take down the government or whatever, you gonna try to lock her down. You can try to be like, hey, don't do that shit, bitch. You live for me type shit, right? So all you motherfuckers, I like Aerith. That's why because you're a misogynist. I don't look good That's enough it. to be a misogynist. Okay, if you look like Future or this guy, apparently you can be a misogynist. Oh. And it's fine. I don't have that luxury. I have to respect women. <laughs> <laughs> Stop calling her that. Stop calling her that. Cut it out. Oh, shoot. Uh, oh, chat. <laughs> he's just he, chat. He's just playing. He's just playing. Well, well, get out. Shut up, Eric. Also, this, this bitch, Eric, is so annoying. Always yapping. Hey, wait. Always people talk. Shut the fuck up. Can't you do anything for yourself, bitch? God, I can't wait to see this bitch die in 4K, 120 FPS on the PlayStation 5 when FF7 Remake Part 2 comes out. I'm gonna have that shit beamed up on my 55 inch LG C10 OLED television with HDR, Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos support, and HDMI 2.1 compatibility to take advantage of the full capabilities of the PS5. Jesus Christ, I can't wait till this bitch dies. Imagine like you you go to uh, you go to the lunch table or you go to a recess or some shit. Everybody got their Game Boys playing Pokemon and shit like that. And then your dumbass driveling snot nosed brat comes out of nowhere like, actually I just got uh, anybody got Digimon World Tour on the PS One, bro. You are getting bullied. Type shit. Nose beating your asses badly, nigga. You will live the rest of your life feeling love from nobody, wondering if you're really the problem. Yes, you are, nigga. No one will ever appreciate you. No one will ever love you. You will die alone with no one by your side. You bitch ass nigga. Good game, guys. <laughs> Those are the most terminally online people, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like they're a part of like Facebook groups. You know, they're on Instagram Tell all you the shit. time. Tell you they're shit. the type of person that, like, looks at a Twitch clip of somebody saying that they can't wait until Aerith dies or something and then uh, starts a hate brigade over them and, you know, tries to say that they're misogynist and, you know, they put it in all their Final Fantasy VII group chats, like, hey, this guy doesn't like Aerith, like, you know, let's go harass him or something. You know, that's that's the kind of vibe I get from Sabrina. <laughs> I'm a W racist, chat. Wait, <laughs> wrong. Uh, you're a what now? <laughs> Like, this is why you guys are just snowflakes, bro. Facts don't care about your feelings. <laughs> oh, shit. See, so what was really cool there is that, like, that cutscene really tested your reaction time because it just stopped all my momentum and made me die instantly when I couldn't even fight back. <laughs> so, like, that's actually, like, a really good gameplay mechanic. Yeah, bitch-ass nigga! That's what I'm talking about, bitch-ass nigga! Bitch-ass xenomorph bitch! Ah! 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 Go ahead. You won't. Go ahead. Come on. You are built for it. <laughs> yeah! That's a real throwdown. Yeah! Yo, chat, how's your day been? You have to turn back now. Did I fucking ask? They owe me some money. So Why would you tell me your day's been going terrible, you fucking idiots? What the hell? You're oh. bringing out the good vibes of the chat, bitch. Tonight, I do have oh, wow. one last special announcement from us. To celebrate our 10th year, the Game Awards is thrilled to be partnering with the LA Phil for Go a fuck very yourself. special evening of video game Go music fuck yourself, nigga. Live. Uh, I'm a whore. I'm a whore. I'm a whore. I'm a whore. That shit do look good, though, don't it, chat? That shit do look good, don't it, chat? Tight shit. That shit do look good, don't it, chat? Tight shit. That shit do look good, don't it, chat? Tight shit. You must be studied for science. What you think science is gonna tell you about me, bro? Did you ever one play? Did you wait? What? Did you ever play that one game trolley problem Inc? It's on Steam. No, I haven't heard of that. I'm 
sorry, is he drinking piss? Hey everyone, it's Shepard Joey, Super Cute Food Reviews. I'm back. <laughs> Today, I'm doing, um... This is what we're doing Sochi at 546 water. in the morning. Sochi water review from Russia. The official Olympic water of Russia, and I got one sent to me. Look at this. Look at this. Original Sochi water. And I'm going to give it a shot. Gang. This we're going to get into any games? No, I'm probably going to end stream soon. I got to try to sleep for stream later today. From Could Olympic Joey beat Goku? Oh, absolutely. Big bottling company. <laughs> Team so, piss or team cum, go. bring it, like, it back. It looks like it's been through somebody team already, come. if you know what I mean. Woo! So check this out. Did, did, did I start that on... I think I started that on Moonstream one day. Yo, Ruba, thank you for the 18 months, my brother. I appreciate that. Why is the water yellow? I don't know. 18 months is crazy, though. Thank you, man. Make merch? Me or him? Sochi Olympic water. I'm going to give it a shot. This is the review. Here we go. And, uh, ooh, oh boy, here we go. So, this is Joey from For Joey Team Kiki Piss and Team Cum? I don't think people want to rep so Team Piss or Team Cum in public, here dog. We go. Bro got LTG's piss water bottle? Real. <laughs> what even? <laughs> <laughs> no good. No good. What does it taste like, chat? <laughs> uh, negative zero. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. I think that's know, actually piss. Saying... <laughs> Hold on. Let me Google Sochi Olympics water. What is that? Oh, it's like not good water. Like it's actually just contaminated water. Yeah, I guess Russia's water is not poggers. <laughs> that was deaf apple juicy capping. Ooh, maybe. You know what I like to imagine? I like to imagine he records these videos with a GoPro and he's still that fucking close to the camera. Because like, if y'all don't know, like a GoPro has like a very wide field of view. Like it, it captures like literally everything in front of it. But this motherfucker is still right in your fucking face at all times, bro. Like it's, it's honestly scary, like how close he be. Tight shit. Chat, I redid my whole entire well, audio setup. Can you tell the difference? Joey no? Joey okay, that's cool. Joey from Joey's World Tour. Today, I'm doing a challenge. Yeah, it's been a while. Huh? Today, I'm doing the Pocky One Chip Challenge. Woo, 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 woo. I'm excited and I'm scared as well. Ooh. It's been a while since I've done a uh, challenge, so I'm here to do it for y'all. Hope you guys are doing Nah, great. I can't, but good Please for you. Share, okay. Like, and subscribe to I can my tell. Thank you for lying to me. Tour. And I would appreciate he can't it. watch these videos back and not cringe. Do you think Joey is? Do you think Joey is self-aware or nah? You always sound great. I'm not gonna fuck you, bro. Like I wonder if he's like if he knows what he's doing, or if he's just like this. Amazon just charged my debit card with the two hundred dollar sheets that I ordered. I swear to God, if those sheets don't, like, fix my sleep schedule, like, I'm going to be pissed. Stuff. But, yeah, today we're doing the Pocky uh, One Chip Challenge. So it's got, like, Her Carolina Reaper and Scorpion Peppa. So we're going to give this a shot today. Have you not seen the Mickey Mouse vids? Bro, do not ever, and I mean ever, disrespect me again. I've been a fan of Joey's World Tour since like 2013. 
Okay, you fuck. I've been about this shit, nigga. I'm the one that put people on to this nigga, bro. Don't you ever slander my good name ever again. I've been about this shit, boy. I've never been so insulted in my entire fucking life. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> These are the sheets I got, by the way. Apparently, Brooklinen sheets are supposed to be that gas. I swear to God, if these sheets ain't the best sheets I ever felt on my skin, I'm killing myself. One of your donation alerts is from the Mickey Mouse. It is, like, literally. <clears throat> I hope they are. I thought, you, I thought you said I hope they aren't. Like, damn, all right, bro. W hate, like. Can I have your old sheets? Nah, I, I finally got two sets of sheets. So that way, like, when my other sheets are getting washed, I can just, like, put the other set of sheets on. The washer going to ruin sheets? What do you mean? How are you supposed to wash them? Do they not come with washing instructions? Hold on, let me see. Machine wash cold with light colors, tumble dry low, non-chlorine. Yeah, how's that going to fuck it up? Let us know how the Brooklyn and Sheets are. I got you. <laughs> Me after I pour about two cups of X-Lax in my girl's iced coffee in the morning. <laughs> Tell you shit. <laughs> Y'all wouldn't get it. You fucked yours up. You had these too? I mean, as long as I follow the care instructions, I think I'll be fine. <laughs> what compelled you to say that? The devil? Over to cameo.com slash Joey's World Tour 2018. Woo! You'll see all the links below. Uh, I just unplugged my monitor, I think. This is the Pocky. My streaming monitor. Chip Challenge Hour unit today. Only on Joey's World Tour. So let's sneak a peek a to see what the Pocky One Chip Challenge is all about. Okay, muchachos and muchachas. This is the Pocky. Yo, Sir Panda, thank you for the 41 months, man. Holy shit, welcome back, bro. 41 months is crazy. Thank you. Welcome back, brother. And it's extremely hot. So this is the packy. Hold on, what's the shoe game looking like, chat? It's been a while since I've done any challenges, so I figure let's just do one today. Nah, you know what's going to cut? Is this just a cupcake? Nah. Nah, chat, what is that, bro? That's not just a cupcake tumbled over in his... Nah. That... Hey! Nikita. Stop fucking around. Nah, chat. That cannot be what that is, right? A keychain? Is it? No, nah, I don't see... Because the keychain would plug... Would connect here, right? Can't think of a name for this emote. Just put SMILE in all caps. Put SMILE in all caps. Is that a straw? It does look like there's a straw coming out of it. You done it? I have done this, yeah. Hey, so let's see what's inside. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, beep, I do this with one hand here. Um, yeah, so this is the thing. There's a like cup a full of... Oh, thing. that is what it is. It's a bunch of like... Uh, like plastic bags in there. I thought it was like a cupcake or something, but I think it's a bunch of plastic bags stuffed in there. It's just for if you're like, you know. Good shit, Seabass. Good eye, good eye, good eye. Can we get some smiles in the chat? <laughs> trying to, you know, make like a record or I'm, I'm just going to just do it for you, chachos. So it's got a one-chip challenge stuff. Got spicy <laughs> got gut slash. Scorpion Sting, Rogue State. I'm scared. Oh boy, this is gonna be crazy. So, we got this. We have the Pocky One Chip <laughs> Challenge. It's it's pre-packed. It's nice and you know keeps it fresh. I'm assuming. So yeah, pretty good. Huh? <laughs> and, uh, we got some uh, stuff in here. Real peppers, real heat. <laughs> 
and we're basically today we're facing the reaper. <laughs> Woo! Any last words? <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna give this a shot today, everyone. This is the Pocky One Chip Challenge. <laughs> scary too so let's open this mother up you saw what the insides look like this is the what that solar flare behind you oh that's uh one of my lights hold on i can turn it off where's my iphone <laughs> scared but let's try this out today i don't want to make sure i don't get anything on my fingers because you know i'm always scratching my butt and everything i don't want anything to be you know get hot down there tight shit he just like me chat here we go <laughs> Like I'm all scared. To eat. I'm gonna eat the chip right now. What am I tripping? Okay. Ooh, ooh. That doesn't look good. Oh boy, that doesn't look good at all, everyone. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. It's... Oh boy. Man, my boy finna have a life-altering experience in the fucking oh, front seat of his car, mercy. bro. Mercy. Mercy. Ooh, that's scary. That's scary, everyone. Look at that. I'm scared. What is so okay? We're gonna try this today. I guess I'm going for it. Who knows? I guess a little no pain. No pain beep, beep, beep. This How much money would it? I've already done this. Uh, <laughs> one chip challenge, and why am I gonna regret this? I know I'm gonna regret this. So, should I eat oh, like 200 chip? subs? Maybe I just eat it fast. Break it's 4 a.m. What are we doing? Like, like a whole chip. Hey, you know, bro, like how hot could it it's be almost 6 a.m. actually. <laughs> But let me see. Um, Is that bad? It's not pleasant. <laughs> it's definitely not pleasant. It's like a shirt here. So just in case I start drooling or anything. I have something to wipe my mouth. Okay, everybody. This is the... I think the pain persisted for me for like maybe like... The Pocky One Chip Challenge. An hour or two. Oh, boy. Oh, these are... Okay. <laughs> little tingly. A little tingly. Ew, ew, man. <laughs> Ooh, getting, getting warm. Getting warm. Oh boy, I need on the sun. <laughs> oh. Swallow it, dog. Ah. Oh boy, I don't have to cut any socks off. Woo! <laughs> Holy moly! I'm gonna get diarrhea. It's the hottest. It's gonna give me diarrhea. <laughs> Woo! Wait, what's, hold on. what's, oh, what's wrong with Badland Chugs, bro? Woo. Oh! <clears throat> oh boy! <clears throat> <laughs> I ain't trying to see that. Badland Shucks is only nasty when he's chugging beans and shit. Wait, is butter supposed to help? Scoob's 25 consecutive streams, W Miz. He bit into that like a snick. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, boy. Oh, this is nasty. Oh, I'm about to puke. Feel the heat. Ew! Woo! Oh man! Oh, no. Ew! Oh man! Woo! Okay. Please don't bite the I'm butter again. That's hot. <laughs> Woo! I used to do that as a kid. That's so disgusting, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> Eating butter raw like that is so fucking nasty. Uh, okay. Hot, hot. Woo. I can't get over how hot this is, everyone. This is crazy. Big mistake. Big mistake. 
Oh. Now I think chewing like chewing butter like that, I think that does taste nasty. Oh boy. Okay. Oh boy. There's more in my throat. Ugh. More in my throat. Woo! I hope you all can do it. <laughs> Y'all oh, prefer cream cheese or butter on toast? Butter on again. toast, cream Woo. cheese on bagels. Okay, everyone. This is hot. And I don't know how much more I can handle this. I need to get some milk, guy. But I don't think I've ever even put... This is the one chip challenge. Ew, dog. I don't think I've ever put cream cheese on toast. Yo, that shit was truly not... Benny, hey Benny. I think Benny's in here because we're usually upstairs at this hour. He's like, hey, bro, why the fuck you down here, bro? The frame, bro, why? Hey, everyone, it's Super Doy Super Cool Food Reviews. Sochi Water! Super Cool Food Reviews. Um, how you doing? I'm doing the Egg McMuffin, the all-day breakfast from McDonald's. I went there around 2.30. I think we've seen like a six, video seven of minutes. They go, oh, it's going to take about four minutes to make. Just... Mm. Hey, Benny. It's hot. But it's delicious at the same time, y'all. You know that? Mmm. So he wants to sit in my lap. Yeah. The fried chicken reveal. Right there. So y'all probably subscribe to Why Spanish are you showing me ass, ass Benny? Today in the food reviewer, we're going to be reviewing two dressers. I have had these before. Thin crust uh, says it right there. Uh, as you can see, uh, it looks pretty good. Uh... I don't know if you guys can see that. Will that focus? All right, bro. Anyways. Yo, chat. This channel right here is my new goat, Rotten Mango. Have y'all heard of them before? It's like this girl that be breaking down like crazy fucking, uh, Crazy fucking like stories and situations that have happened. Both of the ones I watched happen to be in Korea. I don't know if she focuses on things that have happened in Korea, but I was watching one about uh, some like rich billionaire who built a uh, like a super mall in like Korea and like pretty much like ignored all building instructions. And like built it very unsafely. And one day, randomly, the fucking building just collapsed on itself. Within 20 seconds, the building just fucking collapsed and turned into rubble. It was like a fucking, like a five story mall type shit, like mad huge. And it just fucking crumbled and killed 500 people. It killed 500 people and injured like a few hundred more. This this channel is the go. I highly recommend this channel. I be listening while I yeah, the entire fucking mall. It was this video actually. No, I lied. This, this video was also crazy. So, ah, uh, let me tell you the story about this video. So, what happened in that video is uh sometimes I recommend it end up with videos you be watching even though I never search for them. It's cuz they know. So, in this video right here, here's what happened, bro. Here's what happened, bro. So, um, randomly one day, uh, a mother comes in, it, it's, it's, she's a new parent, right? And she comes in and she's concerned because her son has been having a cold for a while. And at first, like he was like crying in pain and like, it was like so horrible, but she just thought it was a cold, right? So she did what you should do when they have a cold, you feed them. Uh, you know, you give them a lot of liquids, you keep their room warm, you keep the humidifier on to like help them breathe more because the air in Korea can be very, very dry. 
<clears throat> and uh, so, like, they keep the humidifier on and, like, do all that other bullshit to help them feel better. But eventually, like, the, the kid, like, wasn't feeling any better, you know? And, uh, and so at a certain point, the kids stopped crying and their, their parent felt like they stopped crying mainly due to like them just not having the energy to cry or like, or ask for help anymore. So she brought them in It's like, I know it's probably just a cold and I'm overreacting, but like, I just wanted to make sure that, you know, he was fine. And when they do like an x-ray or something on the kid, they find that their lungs are like completely white on the x-ray. And when something's completely white, that signals that something is like solidified, which means that this baby's lungs have pretty much turned to stone. And they're like, yo, like what the fuck? And then the mother also starts having those same symptoms. And then they both die. And nobody knows what the fuck happened or what the fuck is going on. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, the father ends up going home and crying. But he's so convinced that somebody killed his wife and child type shit. So we move on. And this is happening to more and more families. Like more and more people are coming in and their kids are dying. Their lungs are turning to stone pretty much. And the mothers are also getting infected with whatever this might be. And some of them make a recovery and then some of them die. And every single case will have them come in and be like, yo, like my kid just randomly caught a cough or they randomly caught a cold. I'm sure it's fine, but like, well, like what's going on? And then that would happen. They'd be dead shortly after they brought them in. Because by the time they brought them in to the, to the uh, hospitals, they were already too far gone, right? So one doctor in particular notices this trend over the course of a couple years. And every year around like June, April to June, he notices that more and more families are coming in with this issue. Their kids' lungs are turning to stone. And not only that, the mothers are also having to deal with that. Like, they're also getting infected with this. So this guy is like, yo, I think I'm going crazy. Why is nobody talking about this? Nobody's talking about this on the news or anything. But, like, this is a trend I've noticed. What is going on? So he starts to email every doctor he knows, everybody he went to school with, uh, uh, doctors that he, he remotely was like cordial with, you know, whatever, emails all of them like, yo, like, I don't know if this is just happening over here. If there's something in our water supply or our air supply or like what the fuck is going on, it can't be the water because it seems to only target like infants and mothers and young infants and mothers at that. So like, what the fuck is going on? Like, blah, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. And then some doctors like email back like, yo, I actually just had a case just like this. It's funny you say that. I've noticed this too. And it's been going on for years. So then the dude is like, the, the doctor is like, yo, this is crazy. I'm going to contact the Korean CDC. So he contacts the Korean CDC and is like, hey, bro, y'all need to check out what the fuck going on. Like babies, lungs turn into stone. Babies is dying. Mothers is dying. It's just crazy around here, bro. And the CDC reports back like, hey, bro, I'm going to be honest. We checked the air quality in the area. Nothing's going on. I don't know what to tell you, bro. Like, tough shit. You feel me? So then the doctor's like, yo, this is some bullshit. So the doctor gets the press involved. And by the way, the CDC was investigating this for years. And they would not reply to the doctor at all. They would leave the doctor on red. Whole time, families is dying, bro. You feel me? So, like... After like a year, a couple years, the doctor like takes it to the press and now it starts getting run in the press. You feel me? And they're like, yo, like, like babies is dying. Mothers is dying type shit. And then the CDC come out and is like, all right, guys, look, there's no need to be alarmed. Like, yes, this is kind of happening, but it's only killing babies 
and mothers. So us men will be fine. Y'all be all right. Don't worry about it type shit. And that pissed people off even more. So eventually the CDC is forced to take this seriously. So then they start interviewing the families, the remaining family members of the people that were affected by this, right? You feel me? And they ask them these questions like, well, are you guys smokers? Do this, do that, do this, do that, whatever. And the parents are like, no, no, no. Because Korea is very, um, like, sanitary, you know? And um, they're all very, like, courteous of that type of shit. So, yeah, they're, no, they're not smoking. They're not doing that, blah, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. But they noticed one thing. There was only one commonality between each and every every single family there. And that was that every single one always had a humidifier in the baby's room. There was always a humidifier. And they're like, hmm, that's interesting. But they asked the people what humidifier they used. And it's also important to note that in Korea, Having a humidifier is very common. Like a humidifier in Korea is about as common as like a fan or an AC is in like America or something. Because like the summers get really dry and and shit like that. And the the, the air is horrible. So they all use humidifiers very regularly. Humidifiers are huge in Korea. So, uh... They're like, all right, so like what humidifiers are you using? And they all use different brands. So it can't be traced to the humidifier. But there's an important thing you have to do with the humidifier, and that's clean it out. And one thing that was a common commonality, I guess you could say, between every family is they all used the same solution for cleaning out their humidifiers. So they found a connection, okay? And it turns out this solution is owned by a big mega corporation called Oxy, who is based out of the UK, and they own, like, they dominate the cleaning market for everything, right? Like, they own, like, pretty much everything, you know? So they find this out and come to find out the solution that people are using to clean their humidifiers in Korea is actually an industrial grade chemical that was originally bought by a com- that was originally bought by Oxy the head company from another company and Oxy wanted to use it as rug cleaner like industrial grade rug cleaner right and there was another company that was making these humidifiers or that was making the humidifier like sanitizers. And Oxy was like, oh shit, we got this solution. If you just put this shit in the humidifier type shit, like you'll be fine. Well, it would turn out that using this uh, chemical in this humidifier was pretty much putting that chemical into the air and people were pretty much like snorting this chemical. And it was killing babies and killing mothers because There was always a humidifier in the baby's room. And when they would be sick, they would even move the humidifier like so close to the baby and the mother that the humidifier is pretty much blowing the air directly on their face. And this is what was causing, you know, baby's fucking lungs to turn to stone pretty much was because of a billion dollar corporation that got too lazy and sold an unsafe product. Isn't that shit fucking crazy, yo? I learned that shit from this channel, and there's so many more videos like this. This channel is like low-key kind of my goat now. Oxy like OxyClean. It's like, uh, it's Oxy like this. This place. I forgot what exactly they own. They own a lot of shit, though. They own, like, like a lot of shit.
<clears throat> Did you also hear that IRL streaming is going to be banned in Japan? Wait, really? Delete the smile emo. I made a better one. This is so cursed. But yeah, I'm going to link this again because this is kind of my goat. Smile into shy combo type shit. Uh, a new Marvel Snap video just dropped for my goat. Hey, Benny. Y'all could have named that bitch T. He. Oh. <laughs> Look, he's just shy. Are you sure you're talking about Korea? Well, Twitch is banned in Korea. I don't know if that's what he's talking about. But he specified IRL streaming. And Twitch is not getting banned in Korea. They're just ceasing operations in Korea because it's too expensive. Your late night Monster Hunter World stream and playing it all night. Forgot how fun this shit is. Nah, that's real. It's just guess. Oh, chat, since it's just us girls, I can I'll just I'll leak my my upcoming sponsor. You know, actually if we we get to 15 subs, I'll leak my my upcoming sponsor. We get we we get we get to 15 subs, I'll leak my upcoming sponsor. Tell you shit. <clears throat> Need more than 20 decks in Snap. Is there only 20 decks? It's Capcom. Um, not directly. Capcom will be involved to some capacity, but it's not directly Capcom. <clears throat> Sacred Sin with five gifted, three more, boys. Who got three more on it? You don't got that kind of motion at 6 a.m.? That's what you get for being a hating ass bitch. Who got three more, boys? Hey, I'm pretty sure if you sub right now, it's 25% off. I'm pretty sure if you sub right now, it's 25% off. So I'm just saying, if you ain't got no sub, you know, maybe you want to use that shit. Or if you got a Twitch Prime, maybe you want to let it bang. Tell you shit. You know what I'm talking about? <clears throat> yeah, that would suck, Mr. Just Do It. Because I'm super shy. Super shy. I'm still first? Yes. Enjoy it, kitten. Who got three gifty wifties on the head top type shit? I think my upcoming sponsor will be very cool. And there it is. Sir Panda, thank you for the gift sub. And Silent Ninja, thank you for the three gift subs. Hey, can we get to 20 real fast? 20 real fast and all for real shit. Nah, I'll tell y'all, I'll tell y'all, I'll tell y'all, I'll tell y'all. A promise is a promise. Oh my God, that shit was loud. Okay. It's Smite? No. I, I did do a Smite sponsorship one time, though. Um, I'm not going to lie. The Smite sponsorship was like coming full circle type shit. All right, so boom. The sponsor that I have is going to be a sponsorship that lasts four weeks. And every single Thursday, I'll be doing a stream for this sponsor. And how I got this sponsor, again, I'm going to say it. How I got this sponsor was because they saw me playing Call of Duty and wanted to sponsor me because of that. So shout out COD. Shout out Modern Warfare 3. Can we get some holds in the chat? If you're excited to find out who it is. Nobody's guessed it so far. Nobody's guessed it. Well, Capcom was kind of close, but not really. So, the sponsor is... Anybody wanna guess? <laughs> I love cooking, y'all. Does anybody want to guess? No? <laughs> ah, ga, 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 Omega Dance. But it's not the finals, bro. It's not Apex. Balenciaga. Cod itself. I right, nobody's guessing it. All right. My sponsor is... NVIDIA. 
Tai Shi! Tai Shi! Tai Shi! Tai Shi! Tai Shi! So they want me to stream four weeks in a row using a uh, GeForce Now. Now, I don't know if you guys saw my tweet about this. Um, How is Capcom involved? I'll get to it. So I don't know if you guys saw my tweet about this. This is me playing Monster Hunter Rise on my fucking phone. And obviously Twitter compression sucks dick. But look at how like smooth this shit ran. And it felt great to play too. Right? Like this shit felt great to play. Well... No input delay. Very, if there was input delay, it was not very perceivable. Um, but what's interesting about GeForce Now is that there's actually a feature for certain games that is like a super high competitive mode that gives you high frame rates and even less input delay. So they wanted me to initially start playing COD on it to do COD one of the weeks, right? Uh, to show off like how well it runs on GFN and stuff like that. <clears throat> which is fine because I already played God. But while I was in the call with the dude from NVIDIA, uh, he was asking like if I was familiar with the tech at all. And I was like, well, actually, I've tried other streaming stuff before and thought it was cool. And I was initially a little hesitant on GeForce Now, but I tried Monster Hunter and stuff like that on it. And it ran really well. And he was like, well, funny you say Monster Hunter. You know, we have Mon we have a lot of Capcom products on GFN. They also told me of some other things that are coming to GFN soon, like this Thursday soon. Um, and they wanted me to try out one of the Capcom games that's going to get put on GeForce Network this Thursday. So my original time slot was to be throughout the entire month of January. But because they saw that I was, you know, that I played Capcom games and stuff like that, they moved me up to be part of the, the Capcom stuff that they're doing. So I'm going to be getting put in contact with Capcom as well as NVIDIA type shit. So like big W's. But keep this between us girls. All right? It's just us girls type shit. But yeah, NVIDIA sponsorship, like mega giga W, bro. Mega giga W, boy. And they're also paying me a pretty good amount. Got to tell Twitter. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to wait first. Who said COD was trash? Hey, bro, COD might have tanked my uh, COD might have tanked my view count. Hey, bro, but that shit got me a W sponsor. You buying me a new computer? No. And I'm not gonna lie, chat. I feel like low key lightweight. I think the the Nvidia guy like really liked me, bro. Like, I think that conversation went so well. I think he really liked me, bro. So I hope that, you know, this can, you know, flourish into an even better thing type shit. All I'm saying is that when I start talking about this GFN shit, y'all got to click my link. Because I'm not even bullshitting you. I tried it out before I accepted the sponsorship. GFN is legit. Like, I actually, no word of a lie, I think GFN is currently good enough to where, like, if you didn't have a good computer, I think GFN is good enough, as long as you have a good internet connection, that you could play full-fledged games on here. I was playing Alan Wake 2 on my computer, and it ran better on GFN than on my own fucking computer. Because the way that GFN works, if you guys don't know, they pretty much have systems that they're running these games on. And then the, the, the systems stream to you, right? And... Uh, the systems are like super like high powered NASA computers. It obviously depends on what tier you pay for. The ultimate version will allow you to play games in 4K, like, you know, like go crazy, HDR, all that shit. And it runs really, really well. And one of the things that always bothered me about, um, about using other streaming services is that there's a lot of artifacting and the resolution is like a lot lower than I would like. 
But on GFN, I was able to run Alan Wake 2, 1440p, 120 FPS, smooth as a bitch, with ultra ray tracing on. Bruh. Do I need a decent PC or can I use a shitty computer? Well, I was running GFN on my mobile phone. You know, well, mobile phones are pretty powerful, but I'm pretty sure it's mostly tied to your network connection. So it really depends mostly on your network connection. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to wait until my link to try it out, like that would mean a lot because y'all know me, how much I love tech and stuff like that. I would really love it if like I could get more sponsors to do with tech and shit because I love this shit. And I feel like it's always hard for me to like say how passionate I am. That's why I think I kind of caught the dude off guard at an at NVIDIA because I was like nerding out on on the call and he seemed to really like that I was a fucking nerd. So like W's. Are the tiers only paid? Uh, actually, I don't know. Let me see. Uh, there's a free access. So you have a one hour session length and you get a basic rig for $8 a month or $50 for six months. You get 1080p, 60 FPS, six hours and uh, priority access to premium servers. You get RTX and a premium rig for $100 for six months. They also have three months of free game pass if you buy this, which is dope. This is $20 a month for this one. You get the 4080 rig, uh, 4080 servers, RTX, eight hour sessions, 4K resolution, 120 FPS. And then there's also, um, oh, this is at full capacity. You can't even use this shit. Uh, and this is also, I don't know if you have to have ultimate or if this is also in priority, but there's another like tier where certain games like Fortnite, Call of Duty, you can play them at super high uh, frame rates and with minimal input delay as well. Yeah, it looks like the free tier is all taken up though. I did not know about the session length. There is not a set limit to how many times a member may start a new session in a day. Oh, okay. So after your session length, you can just start a new session automatically. Okay. Oh, another thing to note, GeForce Now, like, you don't get the games, if that makes sense. I forgot to mention that. You pretty much get to play the games that you already own, but you don't have to, like, download them. You stream them straight up. So, like, you connect it to your Steam library, and you can play whatever games on your Steam library, which I think is really dope, actually. Because, like, let's say, for example... You know, you wanted to play Alan Wake 2, but you were on um, but you were on a trip and you only had your mobile phone and a controller. Well, you could continue Alan Wake 2 at 1440p, you know, 60 FPS on your fucking phone. And it would pick up kind of like a Steam Deck, you know. It just connects to, you connect your Steam account, you get your cloud save and all that shit. Like, I was able to pick up my Monster Hunter Rise save on my phone, Alan Wake 2 save and all that shit. Like, that shit's really dope. The backbone is fire, Yagami. I think that controller is... Actually, I have it. Uh, where the fuck is that shit at? It's My desk is a mess, boy. Here it is. <sighs> I, got, I got the backbone right here. This shit is a really good controller. It's very comfortable, too. I fuck with the backbone. If you're interested at all in mobile gaming or anything, or using something like GeForce Now... Uh, it works really well. I can play Nier Automata Monster Hunter World on my phone. Monster Hunter World is not on GeForce now. Monster Hunter Rise is, though. About to play Yakuza in bed. Not every game. I think Yakuza should be available, though, because they have the Game Pass tie-in. So you should be able to play Yakuza. Actually, I can check what games are on there. And you can either play it in your browser or download the standalone app. Um, but you can see I had Cyberpunk. I was playing that shit at 1440p with ray tracing on. Uh, Monster Hunter Rise. So if you have Game Pass, you get to play the Game Pass games and just stream them. You don't have to download them. Uh, every game on Game Pass. Uh, so you wanted Yakuza? Is it on here? 
Okay, Yakuza is not on here yet. That would have been dope if it was on here. You get the Alan Wake series is on here. <clears throat> oh, these are all the games they have that you could play. Damn. There's, I didn't even know there was this many Assassin's Creed games. I just saw an ad for Maple Story where their Maple Story sponsors at. I don't even know. I mean, I would probably accept one because I think it'd be hilarious, but. You have the whole Battlefield series. Jesus Christ. There's a lot of games here. Alan Wake 2 on your phone is pretty crazy. Nah, it's like, I thought we were maybe five to 10 years away from like game streaming being viable. After I use GeForce Now, I legit think the time is now. GeForce Now is so far ahead of the competition. And I'm not even, I'm, again, I'm not even sponsored yet. So this is how you know I'm I'm spitting. That's how you know I'm spitting. It is so far ahead of the competition. I don't think I'm going to say that when I am sponsored because I don't want to shit on another company's product while I'm promoting this one. I just feel like that's tasteless. But, dude, I've tried the Xbox streaming. I've tried... The only one I haven't tried is the PlayStation streaming, um, but I've tried the PlayStation or the Xbox streaming. I tried the Steam streaming. I've tried Moonlight, like all that shit. This destroys it. Like this is legitimately really fucking good. Everyone I've used had resolution issues or like there was a lot of like artifacting in the video footage. Like, you know, um, you know, when like, when you're watching a Twitch stream, if you watch any Apex, this happens all the time. And there's a lot going on on the stream and it looks like pixelated. Like that shit happens a lot on every other service. It did not happen when I played GeForce Now. Not to say it won't happen because obviously server loads and server capacities always change. So that's always something that you're gonna, that's always something that's going to be a thing with streaming, at least with the current infrastructure, you know, it is now, right? Uh, so like that is a thing. And, you know, one thing that I really liked, too, is that they were like, look, we understand when I was talking to them on the call, they were like, look, we understand that streaming games is always going to come with its challenges. And we want you to be upfront and honest about those. Like, you don't have to, like, say, oh, this is great. This is the best thing ever. Like, be truthful with your experience. Like, they, he really hammered it home that, like, he wanted me to be truthful with my experience. And to me, that means that they're very confident in this. And I think they should be because this is better than literally everything on the market. They got Dang and Ronpa on here, Damon X Machina type shit. I really like that they tell you what you're getting when you pay for it. Yeah, real shit. Ultra Despair Girls as well. Why are they so good at streaming? Because the way that every other thing works is it works purely off of cloud networking or something like that. But the way GeForce Now works is there's a legitimate like computer somewhere wherever the fuck they have their headquarters at, there's like a legitimate computer with a 4080 in it, top of the line processor, like cracked set, like a cracked computer out there and it's running the game like for real. And then it just streams it to you. I don't know how they do the streaming shit that fucking well, but yeah, that's pretty much how it is because it's actually running the game. It's not like pretend running it type shit. Are any CODs available? Um, yes. Uh, did we see them up here? Or are they not available yet? I might have accidentally leaked something I should not have leaked. Maybe I will not have this VOD public. Um, oh, never mind. It's here. Oh, thank God. Yes, Call of Duty is here. <laughs> Because that is one of the games they wanted me to play. But I was like, because they also want me to play another game Thursday that I can't reveal yet. So I didn't know if they were also revealing this in January and wanting me to play it then. But it's already out, so thank God. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, 
All right. What else do they got here? Because they're letting me choose any games that I want to play. So Thursday, they want me to play that Capcom game. And they also want me to play COD on one of the weeks. And the other two weeks, I can play whatever I want. So we, we, we got to tap in. Yeah, so this Thursday, it's a Capcom game <clears throat> that they want me to play. That I don't know if they've announced yet, so... Let me see. Do they have like a Twitter or something? I'm surprised they haven't announced it yet, actually, because it's coming out Thursday. Mm, no, nah, I don't think they've announced it yet. Yeah, I'm going through. They have not announced it. Oh, shit. Backbone is offering 30% off for GeForce Now users. I don't know if that's still a thing, if, the, if that's a, still a promotion. Oh, they got Divinity on here. This is like PS Now if it was good. Uh, I guess, but PS Now is so far behind something like this. It feels like disrespectful to compare this to PS Now, but I, I guess it's more like Google Stadia if it was good. It's time get on Inquisition. I actually have an Inquisition save. I don't know if it's on my Xbox or PC somewhere. Actually, you know what's fucked up? I actually heard Stadia ran pretty well, actually. I was using GeForce Now to play Overwatch Comp on my MacBook six years ago. Damn, I didn't even know that shit was around for that long. Bro, they got so many fucking games on here. The idea was too way ahead of its time. Yeah, but I gen like the thing is, I remember the first service I ever heard trying to do something like that is called was called On Live, and I remember trying to use that back in two thousand and nine. Look, the internet infrastructure was not set up for that shit in two thousand and nine. Um, but this right here, I think this is the truth. I was already starting to believe in game streaming, and then I played this, and it like literally like change my worldview type shit like this is actually so fucking good you're gonna see on thursday when i play the games how smoothly it runs now it would be very funny if it if on that day in particular it didn't run smoothly i think that would be hilarious but i hope that does not happen because i genuinely love this shit and i want to showcase it you got gears ghost runner ghost wire type shit And I genuinely think this is going to be so dope for people because there's always a bunch of people asking like, oh, like I want to, you know, get a computer to play games better or blah, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. But like this could legitimately be like a replacement for getting a good computer. Like it actually runs so fucking well. That is like a little, like I literally couldn't believe my what was happening when I was playing. Like I was running Alan Wake 2 at full resolution, max settings, ray tracing, and rock solid performance. Like it, this is fucking insane. This game is low-key fun as shit. I'd probably want to play stuff that, like, looks sick. Oh, shit, they got a lot of King of Fighters on here. Big day for nerds. They should. Left for Dead if you're boring type shit. Life is Strange if you're Paper Note type shit. Oh, my God, Lord of the Rings Gollum. You can have chat vote on something or top dono that day. 
Yeah, we could do something like that. You paper note too, though? What you mean? Did you know that Hitman has a roguelike mode? I did not. But speaking of roguelike mode, I need to play that God of War shit. Dude, I heard that God of War, the DLC, like gives you an FOV slider. And like, I'm not going to lie, that shit might change my life. I need more third person games to give you an FOV slider. Like, please, for the love of God, man. You got spoiled on it. I've been dodging spoilers like crazy. I need to play that shit later today. I have a hypotenuse as to what the story could entail, but I don't want to say anything because I think people will confirm it if it's true. So I'm just staying quiet about it. Not Mr. Just Do It. He's saying if they dropped it tomorrow that I would play it tomorrow type shit. Which I probably would because I think those are good stream games. It makes for good content. I don't think they're very good games. <clears throat> I think the first Life is Strange was solid though. Why is y'all up? Bro, I was in bed all day. I'm not gonna lie. It was it was one of those days where I was just like feeling like shit, man. Ooh, Resident Evil would be a good would be a good one. Oh, you know what? I wonder if they have. Um. Oh, what the f the is it is it the Remnant that I'm thinking of? What's the what's the game with a bunch of rats in it? I went to bed at eight. Damn, you on you on old lady time and Plague Tale. Did they have Plague Tale? Did I miss it? I mean, that's on Game Pass, right? So they sh it should be here. Is it called something else or is it literally called Plague Tale? Here it is, Plague Tale. Oh, maybe we do a stream of one of those. Maybe I stream this. How long are these games? Does anybody know? There is not Monster Hunter World on GFN. Saints Row 2, you got to play that. I don't think I do. 15 hours. Maybe I'll save that for another time. Actually, Saints Row 2 would be a good thing for a one-off. I'm trying to think of games that would be good one-off games. Saints Row 2 would be a good one. And I could even put that on the VOD channel, probably do de decently. That's really what I would get it for to play World on the Go. Yeah, hopefully they can add it someday. Wait, Sleeping Dogs on here? Did I miss Sleeping Dogs? We actually might have to do that. Sleeping Dogs is the best GTA clone ever made. That This game is so fucking good. That was like a, one of the most surprise hits I've ever played. Smite? I did see Smite. <laughs> Smite, Battleground of the Gods. Yo, Splitgate. Also, it's a reminder that you don't get these games when you get GFN. You have to have these games in one of your libraries already. Sh sh Want to make that clear. <clears throat> Man, I'm, I'm really upset they never made another Sleeping Dogs. <gasps> Super hot. I wonder how that game plays in not VR. I'm curious to see how Red Dead 2 would run on this. That game always ran. I mean, it'd probably run really well on here. You could max that shit out too. Can I at least play Warframe? I did not know you was a Warframe girly. I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll get down to the W's eventually. They got Shenmue. Isn't Shenmue ass? Shenmue 3? 
The first two Shenmue's are classic. Oh, Stalker. You've been playing for five years? I'm truthfully sorry. I don't feel like scrolling all the way back up. Sword and Fairy, what is this? Tight shit, tight shit. Oh, the Splinter Cell games. I was never a Splinter Cell head. Yo, the OG Tomb Raiders. Oh, they got a lot of the Tomb Raiders. <clears throat> yeah, I wonder how long they've been working on that Hunter Hunter game. I'm very curious. Risk of Rain 2. I believe Risk of Rain 2 is on here. I don't feel like scrolling back up, but I'm pretty sure it is. Tunic is on here. I'm not going to lie. I've been scrolling and low-key like not looking at anything. <laughs> Uno! Oh, Valheim. I never played Valheim. Hey, look, Warframe, just for you, Shy. They heard you. Watch Doge. What the fuck? 13? I didn't even know this had a PC port. What the fuck? And that's everything. Tell shit. I don't trust that Hunter Hunter game until the gameplay shows up. Now the Hunter Hunter game is going to be generational. Do they have SMT? No. <clears throat> Are there even any Shin Megami games you can play on PC? Do they have Persona? No. So they don't have everything that's on Game Pass, it looks like. Nocturne? Oh, Nocturne is on PC. I forgot about that. But yeah, since they run the games locally, I feel like, you know, the game library will continue to expand eventually. But yeah, I think they've been working on expanding the library a lot. Like they're working with, um, you know, Activision Blizzard and they're working on a lot of Call of Duty stuff. You know, they were working with Microsoft to bring like a lot of the Game Pass games on too. So I think they're they're working on the, the game acquisition part. So, uh, yeah. But like, I'm so excited for this sponsor. I don't think I've been excited for a sponsor like this actually ever i don't i don't i'm trying to think i've had some cool sponsorships in the past but like this is like something i like genuinely fucking believe in like, i think i think what what geforce now is doing i think what nvidia is doing with geforce now can like legitimately bring games to so many gamers that would have never had the option to play these games before and i really love that oh shit they got dragon's dogma Yeah, like I, I actually really believe in this. Oh, Baldur's Gate 3 is on here. They got the Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Octopath. They got Just Shred. Wait, do they actually? Did I miss that shit? Oh, they got Grenchen Impact. Grenchen Impact is one of those games that runs like, that be running like shit too. But yeah, I, I really believe in this shit. Ah, right, should I end stream? I gotta. I should probably try to force myself to go to sleep. What up, I guess? No, play Monster Hunter World. Nooch. <clears throat> I I should I should force myself to go to sleep, chat. That way I could stream later.
I think me, Balvin, and JoJo finna do a stream together later. And uh, probably going to also be playing God of War later as well. Drakey's. Well, I, at least I re recorded two videos today. They really reverted the Twitch rules, no more hentai. Okay, so the Twitch rules were never meant to include hentai, but <laughs> what y'all plan? No, nah, we're doing like a discussion thing about like the, the Twitch TOS bullshit. We were supposed to do it, or they wanted to do it today, or they could have done it today, but uh, I just really wasn't feeling well today. So we'll be doing that shit later, me thinks. Tell you shit, leaving as soon as I wake up. Hey, brother, should have been here. Is the twerking meta still alive? Yes, you can still twerk. You can still twerk. You can still pole dance. Um, but they had to walk back because I feel like I'm going to we're going to talk about this more later. But there's been a big a lot of people don't know this because a lot of people are not tapped in with the art community. But there's been like a big like almost like targeted attack on artists on on Twitch. Right. To where, like, if they draw something even remotely risque or whatever the fuck, like, they began hit with bands like crazy, like, left and right type shit. And Twitch really made that TOS update to appeal to the artists because artists have been complaining about this for years. Uh, so Twitch finally listened and gave the artists what they want. And, in, and instead of it being a W for artists, everybody fucking ruined it and started drawing dicks, started like, you know, drawing hentai, niggas started coming everywhere, you know, people were, VTubers were in the full nude, and they literally ruined it for artists. Like, the only positive change for artists on this platform that they've ever seen, and corny ass motherfuckers on Twitch hijacked it, and ruined everything for the artists. So, yeah. Like, cause people kept, th th this is, I tweeted this, but like, I swear to God, motherfuckers that only know about shit through headlines are going to ruin everything because everybody kept running with this. Oh, you cannot fuck people. You cannot like porn is allowed on Twitch. Like it was never allowed on Twitch. Like th that was never a thing, but people took it that way because that's what the headlines were. So then people started pushing the boundaries and people thought that this was what Twitch wanted. And if I see another person saying like oh twitch allowed porn banned people for doing porn and then walked it back all in one day oh twitch like that is not what happened but whatever it's it's really annoying and i just feel bad for the artists on twitch that are still going to be getting penalized and still going to be uh, nerfed artistically type shit. And you know what I find so crazy too? The same group of people that want like the freedom of speech or freedom to do whatever you want really all of a sudden don't like that shit when a pair of titties is attached to it. I find that to be really interesting. Motherfuckers can do whatever they want on their streams until they have a, a pair of titties. Also, I don't see nobody making headlines when Speed is making his dick clap, but whatever. I'm, I'm just going to get off stream, bro. I'm not talking about this shit right now. We're going to say that shit for later when I'm with the boys type shit. All right. Anyways, chat. I'm going to peace out. I'm going to see y'all later. Thanks for tuning into this late night stream. You feel me? Hope y'all get some good sleep. Excuse me. Hope y'all rest well. Type stinkers. You feel me? And, uh, you know, it is what it is, boys. It is what it is. I better see you here later. And you better be bringing out your wallet. You feel me? You better be bringing out your wallet. You feel me? Daddy needs some moolah. You feel me? Take shit. Anyways, peace out, everybody. Goodbye. Take shit.